Should I have yelled some profanities? No. I'll yell my battle cry. Ah! I can yell, hello, 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 everybody. Professor knows. And welcome to episode 18 of The Lost City of Adronis, and welcome back to If an RP. I haven't had to say that for two weeks, and I messed up. So we're just going to go with it, <laughs> and we're here, everybody. Thank you for Indeed. hanging out with us tonight. Uh, let's go around and see what the cast has been up to. Uh, Derek, let's start with you. How's your yeah. week? How's your, how's your two weeks been since it's been two weeks? How's my two weeks been? <laughs> my two weeks have been very good. I have been staying uh, extremely productive in the studio. Um, I am finalizing a project that I think is going to be uh, fantastic. Uh, it's my I haven't worked on music in a very long time, so it's my musical project. I'm in the midst of balancing editing the music and then make, editing the music video at the exact same time, so it's kind of like a amalgamation of stress, but it's been good stress. But I've been doing that, hanging out in um, RP for the past two weeks, killing it on WoW with a lot of, uh, pretty much a whole cast of uh, my characters, and just overall just hanging around and being brown and fucking enjoying the hell out of it. You feel me? Hell yeah. You feel, you me. feel me? You feel me? I always feel hear me. that in d -Lo's voice, and it always brings smoke smile to my face. It's amazing. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Ray, how, how have you been? How's your two weeks been? It's been two weeks. Um, <laughs> I, I, Yeah, no, uh, it's been good. Uh, last week has been a little bit better than before. I am also back streaming, playing on PRC, which is pretty cool. Uh, Yeah, just doing the damn thing it's it's been it's been a good i'm glad to be back here though i'm really stoked i've missed you all i know i know right i've, I've missed D, &D a little bit more but i'm hopelessly addicted <laughs> yes. so, but that's yes. awesome we're glad to have you justin what how have you uh, uh, every time uh, <laughs> don't yell at mom like that <laughs> How have Love you, you been? I'm good. I'm good. I'm real good. I'm a little bit, you know, we're we're all in our house. We're all heading back to school, so everything is a little bit like, <sighs> um, but uh, we still have time uh for this and Flames of Freedom on Monday is heading into its last two episodes. Oh my goodness. Um, my for this season, maybe we'll be back, and then uh, it's it's uh, but life is okay. Life's all right, you know. Life's good. I'm super excited to be back playing this and i'm super excited to i think that we talked about this in the green room like last week we had a lot of backstory stuff come up and folks personalities and i'm super excited to you know, pull some of those threads you know to pull a yes. thread to see well, uh, work I'm, 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 I'm excited like i'm just happy that like it's really cool to see like where i can kind of take a back seat and just let you guys converse with each other for a little bit mm -hmm, as mm -hmm. the characters kind of get to know each other and and you know open up i guess is probably the correct answer because i feel like a lot like these characters are still even 18 episodes in uh -huh. are still getting to know each other <laughs> well, i think that's true because we're all sort of like fell into this and now i think it's starting to dawn on the characters that uh we're all kind of in this together we're all like, you know what I mean? <laughs> like <laughs> we have to like figure stuff out. I, the I, only so way this is, is just I know we're going off on the rails here. <laughs> well, and we're delaying Isla's intro, but um the I am super intrigued to see the kind of changes that Nock has been going through. Yeah. Um, as like someone who like has started to like come around and he seems to miss Vodder a little bit, and like and it's really, it's really intriguing to watch. That's all I'll say about that. Hell yeah! No, it's it's been it's been really interesting, and I'm I'm just like even more excited to see where it goes and and what happens. Yeah. So um, absolutely, we can keep BSing until Isla's here too. Uh, yeah, Isla's here. She's just uh, stepped away from the uh, keyboard for just a second. Um, oh, I I'd say we can go into the recap, but uh, I don't want to do that without. Isla, Cole, like, how are you? Yeah, I'm. How, how, yeah, how are you doing, man? How am I doing? I'm doing yeah. good. It's been uh, it's been an interesting couple weeks, mm -hmm. um, for a multitude of reasons. But uh, no, it's been good. Yeah. I've been um, doing a lot of world building, but oh, not for Vadronis. Uh, for a different world, uh, <laughs> that I am really excited about. It's 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 a world that is I've hosted several campaigns in like various regions and have kind of just smushed all of these into one cohesive world and kind of doing some 
world building to kind of make that more of a thing. So we'll right. see if we ever see that come to life. I don't know. Um, Sweet. But that's what I've been doing. So Sweet. That and work. So, mm. Which has been, it's been good being back to work. I'll just say that. It's nice to have something to do all day. So Make your money, honey. Yeah. I like money. It's good. It's helps me <laughs> live and things and stuff. So, but, capitalism. Uh, capitalism. Um, Isla, now that you have returned, how, how have you been? How have your Hello. couple weeks been? I've, do you know what? It's actually been a really good week. Um, Hell yeah. We're getting set up. What, what, what is the date today? The date today is... It's now the day? 10th. Well, yeah, it's the 10th for me. It's the 9th for everyone else. Um, uh, Isla lives in the future. I do. I live, in the future. I live <laughs> at least five hours in the future. It's it's it's, it's cool. Time zones are, are a thing. Um, so, uh, yeah, no, I got accepted for a new job today. And university starts in 11 days. And just generally all around pretty freaking excited because everything's changing. So... Ooh. Change yeah. is good. It can be. Can be. It's can scary, be. but it's good. Can be. Yep. And, and I've been getting my creative shit on with PRC. So I've been having a lot of fun. Um, yeah, you guys making things a little bit more cinematic and everything. And, and uh, it's been fun to get the juices flowing, you know? Hell yeah. <laughs> Creatively. Creatively. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it, really. That's, that's been my week. But Nice. That is awesome to hear, though. That's so good to hear. I am so glad that we are all here. Um, yeah, let's just hop into a little bit of a recap because we definitely need one. Um, how? Because it's, cool. it's been... How? How D and D? How D and D? So D and D is a tabletop how... role playing game. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, is, is, this, is this this dice? It's pronounced how D. How D? How How D? How D and D? Yeah. And I. Uh, I love it here. I love it here. <laughs> anyway, here. last time on, I was going to say last time on Dragon Ball Z because that's what one of my real life groups used uh, to say. But I then really, I'm, it's going to go detract ahead. even more. <laughs> the, you had an opportunity there, my friend, and you just let that go. I feel I like I can't say that. This is going to open a can of worms, and I will, I will say this, and then we'll do the recap. I've never watched a single episode of Dragon Ball Z. Let's get into the recap. Um, last time we left off, the Lost City of Adronis, you guys had been <laughs> traveling through a multitude of mines <laughs> and dungeons, seeking out the Sorry, secret Jared. laboratory. <laughs> no, I'm not going to um, ignore it. I'm not going to ignore it. Sorry, chat. Hold the intro. What the fuck? Late 80s, 90s child, and you've never watched an episode of Dragon Ball Z? You've never known what it's like to watch Goku go into Super Saiyan fighting fucking Freeze? I... So, I might Paul, need a minute. This, is, this is an example of going into Super Saiyan uh, that Derek oh. is currently doing. What he's going oh. to do, he's going to scream for six episododes. Uh, okay. And then he's going to drop the spirit bomb. If we all just hold our One hands second. up, we, we'll... <laughs> All right, and he's <laughs> yeah. Okay, oh, there he goes. <laughs> Lost the headphones. Okay, it's good. Oh, I shouldn't have said a single word. <laughs> All right, I'm good. I'm good. We good? Facial squid. Okay. Facial squid. Facial squid. We're good. Continue, okay. sir. All right, I'm gonna recue the music. That's <laughs> <sighs> <Last> nonsense. <laughs> we left off. You guys had been tasked by Sigismund, the Chirogen leader, who is a doctor in the Old Croak Market. You have been tasked to seek out a secret laboratory from one of his former colleagues, Dr. Karina Leisht, to find a warp stone, one of these powerful magical objects that have permeated through the city. You've been tasked to find one of these in any notes that you have come across or found. Um, in an effort to cure the plague that spreads through the old croak market. You guys have made your way through a mine in which diamonds and uh, stones known as spirit stones or soul stones or something stones have been mined by Duragar. You cooked a Duragar alive in a cart. You brought it back to life in a way <laughs> You said that you guys were part of some magical plague. We were the curse 
um, management division or something yes. like that. Mm. Mm. Division Stalin. of curse. Uh, we know when curses curse. happen, and we go out to yeah. stop them. Yes, for free. Interdimen- <laughs> interdimensional. It's just a service. It's, 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 it's a public, public service. It's, it's a public, public service that you <laughs> tax for. Yeah, it's yeah. Totally really, the shame is on them for buying it, totally which they <laughs> did. <laughs> or more so, they're like, I don't want to deal with this shit right now. You just go do you, mm-hmm. and then you guys snuck through deeper like into. Lot. Uh, you guys snuck through deeper into the caverns. Um, trailing a group of cultists and one specific cultist only known as the man with three faces you guys have been camping out um, trying to keep your distance from this group wherein you came across two drow known as Aiden and Dala the uh, cleric and paladin of Ket a very strange and conflicted happy just very opposite very strange day uh, the word i would use is esoteric esoteric that's too big of a word for me to think about right now um what does it even mean and you guys that's um, that's what esoteric is and you guys had uh some great conversations with each other um you guys got a long rest in um and had continued your way you came to a split in the road and sent Jaraxius down one of them whereby he was attacked by a phase spider and I think he actually survived because he claimed to have triumphed he claimed to have triumphed but because the spider phased out of existence and he thought he killed it Jaraxius always triumphs okay Um, and you guys continue down the other passage coming into a narrow tunnel covered in spider webs this narrow tunnel opened up into a vast cavern which you sent Draxis in to uh, sneak in and see what he could see while he was invisible um, in which he saw a mass of spider webs interlocked with these various boulders and stones that have been suspended in midair into this vast cavern the cultists that you've been trailing are on the sides of this cavern while the man with three faces and the face spider are in the center and have been presented and have presented something to some sort of creature you um as we kind of if that's where we left off and as you guys kind of are watching draxius uh through draxius eyes marcoris you see that um, he has placed a giant diamond down in front of him. And from seven, maybe 70, like 30, 30, 50 feet away, the head of a giant spider appears. And you just hear the spider say, Set it down. And that's kind of where we've left off for you guys. Now, before I jump in here, when you say giant, mm-hmm. how big does spider be? So, yeah. I would say. So you you see how many knocks? How many knocks? Um, three. Bird, that's, that's a lot. Um, that's so very big. big. You haven't seen the entirety of the spider; only its head. And you've seen oh the God. face spider and this giant spider that they've been towing mm-hmm. with them. And they're pretty large. They're probably the, you know, 10 feet in length. Um, the so head of this about spider like, is probably... For Justin, not necessarily Marcoris, mm-hmm. we're talking about like jumbo jet size spider. I wouldn't say jumbo Small? jet size. Okay. You would have to get closer. You'd have to send Marcoris a little bit closer to, to see. Oh, I'm going to say Jaraxius a little bit closer. Oh, no, Mar- yeah, sorry, it's not Jaraxius, not Marcoris. Um, actually, Jura- actually uh, Marcoris is um, sort of watching all this happen as we hover in the the opening into the cavern. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to go Wisp. Hi, Wisp. You know those you know the um you know those uh, drawings we found about like, kind of like a spider god type of thing? Um, yes. What would we uh, do? Like, what is protocol if that giant spider god happens to be a, a few hundred feet in that direction? 
I mean, they just, you know, those big diamonds they made that newbie look for? Yes. They just offered one up to a spider uh, the size of a, uh, like a sailboat. It's very big. And I will, and I will say, maybe for clarification, that the the man with three faces did call this creature by name. Did he say Gurgator? He did not say Gurgator. Gurgator. What did it say? He said Chitul. Ch Ch Chitul. Okay. Chitul. Now, um, I don't think it's the god itself. You know, if I'm gonna back up, I'm gonna backpedal just a little bit. Um, it might not be the god, but it might be like, uh, it, that's a really cool name. Can you put that in? Twitch chat too, because yeah, I really I like that. Very, it's a very cool name. Oh, that's very cool. For, for, a, for a big spider, like if I feel like when that the guy with three masks that like faces, he yeah. also smiles when he says it. Chitul, right? It might be like <laughs> a, 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 an emissary of that spider. It's big. Okay, uh, should yeah. I send Jerry in closer? I don't want to blow our cover. Jerry's I invisible. Would not, no. I would not blow our cover. No. Send okay, I'm gonna. Yes. I'm gonna. So yes. Yeah, yes. Send, send Hold the on. bird. Captain, are you here somewhere? Yes, are you I'm hearing here. all this? I, I'm oh. Yeah, yeah. Do you want me to send Jerry closer? Do you want, or do you want me to bring him back? I would ask what the benefit of sending Jerry closer is. I, I mean, maybe if he, he, easier for him to overhear the conversation and get a look at the size of this big honking spider. Okay, okay. Uh, Hold up. Yes. It did, did, uh, pardon me, but um, did you say... Um, hey. uh, yeah, yeah, I'm still here. Um, Dollar's here too. Um, did you say uh, <laughs> a, a, a spider? Yeah, but yeah. like a big one. Okay. Oh, right. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to say this is where our friendship ends. Um, we're going to head back down. <laughs> no, that uh, way. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> knock, 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 knock. If I'm behind them, Knock puts up both of his arms very slowly and he goes, Send the bird. <laughs> And, and and Aiden, as he like backs up into you, like he kind of does one of these things where he puts his hand up and he he touches nothing touches but your... rock hard pectorals. Yes, yeah, so and he's like, "Oh, hey there, big boy." One big go, nipple at you. the side of his ear. I got you behind me. <laughs> he looks down and goes, "Hey there, small boy. We gotta get to work. Spiders or not, send the bird." You mean Jerry? Jerry's not a bird. Oh, knock, he's... knock, knock. Tilt his definitely... head with a kind of like a side eye. Okay, send the, right. send the devil birds. Come okay, devil birds. Send the devil birds. Hold I on. won't tell him you said that, though. Of course. Yeah. Yes, send Jerry in, but... Okay. Do, but super careful. Je is, is, can I see Jerry? Is Jerry there? Oh, no, he's invisible. He's invisible. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm going to try it. Like, I'm just going to call out as if Jerry's there. I can't see Jerry, but I would assume mm -hmm. Jerry is here. No, he's not. No? Okay, never mind. <laughs> he's like okay. 120 say, feet like, away. <laughs> start talking to Jerry. That's fine. Um, okay, just as careful as you can. I will pass that along to him. All right. Uh, uh, Jerry, uh, uh, Captain, I don't know why I'm saying this out loud because we could communicate telepathically, but um, Captain says to sort of ease your way in there. Don't Don't be hasty. Jerry says something back, which no one hears but me. And uh, he's going to fly forward and try to just to get within uh, eavesdrop range, but also just to assess the situation. Okay. Um, how? So as as he kind of flies in, um, mm -hmm. the man with three faces and the and the spider and the face spider seem to be about in the center of this large cavern. Cavern. Okay. And they're suspended on like a large boulder, and. Mm -hmm. It's like sagging and, and moving how far way. are they from our party? Um, they are about 70, like 60, 70 feet. Okay. And then they are probably another like 50 feet away from the giant spider head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, he's going to, uh, I'm going to send Jerry kind of, he's going to try and triangulate. Like he's going to try to get between them so we can both get a better look at the spider and hear the conversation between the two. Parties. Okay. Um, so yeah, he uh, he flies in. Go ahead and uh, roll me a stealth check with advantage. No oh, boy, for Draxius. Yeah. Uh, that is a fourteen. Fourteen. Okay. So um, as you're kind of watching through his eyes, you can see him try to meander his way through, and 
even where the Mammoth Tree faces is, it is just a mass of webs. There's not really a, like, he has to, like, duck under and through these webs. And he kind of looks up, and he's kind of, you know, trying to get a, just a, a good sense of what's around him. And that, um, as Draxius, like, before he overhears, he looks up, and he's like, and he points, and he looks up. And I don't know what he would say, but as he looks up, you hear them, like, creaking, like that creaking of rope. And as Draxius looks up, he sees countless bodies that have been wrapped up and are being suspended from the roof of this cavern, maybe some, like, 30 feet above his head. I don't know if he says anything, but I see what he sees. And uh, I say, um... Got corp- we've got corpses, got bodies, victims, food, food, hanging from the ceiling. I think you've just come across its lava. Yeah, I think so. Um, all right, are we gonna raid this pantry or what? I mean, I don't want to eat what's in the pantry, but. No, we're not to eat it. No, 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 you, you're talking about food. No, are we no, gonna conf- not, for, not confront? Not now, for the love of God! No. It's, I've I've got some steam left over. Listen, listen, I, listen, I, I, so I can't see shit. All right, I'm just trying to figure it out. Okay, are they eating food over there? Is that why, what they're doing? Why are we? We're not talking about food right now. There's the giant spider. The priorities. My chorus. Are they alive? Can you tell? Can I tell? Uh, Draxius would have to fly up closer to probably get a good then he will do so just okay. don't don't touch anything oh no Jarax is um, this week played by Catherine Zeta Jones in that movie with Sean Connery you remember, uh, she, what's the name of it where she goes underneath the laser wires and she's doing <laughs> chair. Catherine Zeta Jones underneath the laser sorry um, and exactly right. <laughs> um, yeah, so they he... got me a brick. <laughs> so Draxis begins entrapment. Maneuver... Entrapment. Uh, Draxis begins maneuvering his way up uh, closer to the bodies as he hears Great Chatul, we offer this diamond as tribute to pass in safety. And sorry, because of focus here. Um as he sets down this diamond on one of the webs, Draxis sees as it kind of, the web kind of gets wrapped around it and gets pulled. And you can see these giant, massive arms coming from the cave where the giant spider is. And like these massive, 10 feet long arms are kind of like with like pulling this web and but arms mean like closer. spider legs yeah okay. spider big huge spider legs okay um and as he gets closer um go ahead and make a medicine check for me for right, Jaraxius. dr dr Jaraxius in the house is that really intelligence how... is that... it is wisdom oh that is how big is this diamond again? You said it was about yay big. Okay. It was the size like of si- like like a softball. Yeah, that's probably a good. Um, Jaraxius MD rolled a critical twenty for a twenty-one. Ooh, Jaraxius oh. MD. It's like MD. house, but he's a little bit smaller. Um, like PhD in domains. <laughs> is he though? Is he though? Yeah. <laughs> house was an asshole. Okay, go ahead. Um, these bodies are definitely dead. At least the ones that he can see. Um, I mean, it would take him quite a while to check the multitude of yep, 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 yep. Uh, corpses. After the first it. few, well, you know, two or three, say. Doesn't look good. Well, I mean, these uh, only things living in there are uh, Three Face, and his friends, and big ass spot. I can't emphasize this enough. It's a big spot. Okay. 
does it Apparently. look? Uh, how stable is the ground up there? Are they literally um, walking on webs no. or? No, I, no, I mean I, it looks like there's like, um, uh, uh like bo like boulders. Platforms. Swing. Well, they're swinging from the ceiling. So as, as soon as we set foot on any one of those things, I get the feeling the spider's gonna know we're there. Yeah, I get that idea too. I think myself and uh, Wisp will be fine, but yourself and Nock, Aiden, Dala, I'm not too sure. I can keep my distance. You're almost as graceful as a swan, as they say. Uh, Aiden, uh, I know you're not. Um, you are both in those tunnels. You have rattly plates. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh, we have this conversation. How do you know they're not supposed to be? It's not, it's not time for philosophy. I'm... Because it's kind of my thing. We'll play it smart. I'm going to keep my distance. I can do a few things through Jerry. I can do a few things at range. Um, I can probably reach that middle platform with some tax, but uh, yeah, I'm not sure about Nock. He's uh, a get DM, up in there. And, uh, how, how, uh, how light is it? Are any of the people that are over there talking to the spiders carrying any torches? Or any light, period? Um, let me check. So... Um, I do not believe they have dark vision. Okay. That helps. Um, <laughs> so there would be like there it looks like there's dim light um, coming from the giant spider on the wall. It looks like those spirit stones um, that they had been harvesting um, are emitting like a faint blue glow from the like saddle bags that they are in. Um, so there's like twenty feet of light around them. Um, and then the archer would definitely have to have some light as well, or not the archer, the, uh, um, man of three faces, um, also has a torch, like, on his, uh, on his belt. Okay, I just want to make sure that I can, I can see them if they didn't have dark vision, that I'm totally blind. Um, knock it looks towards the general direction. And like, kind of looks around. Um, can I just see if I can see um, as much of the webs as somebody with dark vision would see? Can I roll a perception? Yeah, go ahead and roll a perception check for me. Sweet deal. Uh, so I think that that's the first a, roll it's, would a be it's a first roll. It's a first roll. This thing clicks 14. twice for some reason. Okay. So there's there's a still like a faint bit of light coming from somewhere above. There's there's an ambient light that there's dim light everywhere. So you can easily see um, the webs as they, you know, just kind of encapsulate this cavern. Gotcha. Um, knock the, as he hears the conversation of Kamora and Makoras talking. He says, um, I can see just fine. My eyes are working, but it's a lot of webs. You gotta get the drop on. I don't think we're going to be able to. Nope. We're going to go ever... ahead and get the damn drop. If you oh, ever as a child taking the damn diamond. play with a spider's web. There's no spider in there. As soon as you start playing with it, pff, it comes straight out. Yeah. That is that times a lot. Let's try and um, sneak on up and see if we can get her. A few shots off of three face before this thing goes and tits up. Can Kimura peer over the edge and out to where they are? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So Kimura just kind of peers over and is like, I could probably hit that from here. Um, how far? How far are they away? From yeah, here? I, I know you've said it before. <laughs> um, they are about sixty feet away. Yeah. From oh, easy yeah. picking. Yeah. Pew, pew, pew. Hell yeah. Yeah. So easy pickings. My qu my only question is, is I'm sitting thinking that Nox has his get his slow rock gear start to break in his head and slowly start to turn. <laughs> he's like he's like Wait a minute. If they don't know that we're here and they're over there, like you said, you can go over the big pew pew and get them. It's fine, far away. Very really close. Right. But they're well, bargaining with that creature yeah. over there. They're bargaining with it. And it I'm sorry, Cole, didn't you... There's, there's Three-Face, there's the spider, there's someone on the rock with Three-Face. Yes. Uh, and then so... there's another person we saw inside, too. 
so they ha there are the four cultists on the okay. eastern wall that are is that where we are right no you guys are <laughs> like the southeastern corner uh, peering okay. out so in the center you see the man with three faces and the uh and the face spider to the east on the eastern wall you see four cultists and the other giant spider the brown spider okay and then to the northwest in the northwest corner there is like an outcropping where you could see this giant spider's big boy big boy and, he, and and it he they have taken the diamond mm -hmm. and have kind of um retreated back into Man, they can the see you can't really like draxis can just see glowing eyes at the moment sure, sure, sure. Uh, um, can't quite see the the spider anywhere all right well how about this uh with knock y'all want to focus on those people on the eastern wall that brown spider and the others and uh maybe kimura and i can aim for the center sure. knock looks over to wisp who agrees he nods and says great is it possible instead we go down there you stay here we go down there we say to the man with the three faces and we just went ahead and killed uh, about seven spiders you need to be cleared out of that cavern maybe sway the judgment of the big one i'm I, i'm kind of tired of talking i really want to fuck some people up knock knock immediately just pulls his axe over and goes i like this man <laughs> and then he just starts walking down whatever path he is and like kind of like puts his arm out to like to, like to like he belongs there just like <laughs> yeah he like yeah. puts his arm out to wish to like that not almost like a gesture but almost like holding hands like he's just like it's almost like that type of hand it's just like yeah she'll she'll kind of she kind of does one of those like big inhales to the smile exhale because she knows and she just like with her head will kind of like lead and start walking you know all right you. we skip to the spider no i'm kidding um i want to we're gonna stop making our way meandering in a Montage. sense i wouldn't even say i wouldn't even say like a, a run or a sprint it's more of like a meander like we're just slow yeah. i was like his pace is definitely like a saunter like left yeah. and right as he's making his way over so him. you're like at the edge of like the wall of this cavern are you gonna step out onto the like rock and webbing um knock stops uh, at the rock and we yeah i stop at the rock and webbing and i look at wisp and i i just want to say i have fun about five spiders in my time big ones small ones this there's no turning back <laughs> that's a trophy she just like looks at you and nods like she's just like okay you uh Fine. You hear a click followed by a clack behind you, and and then he, as soon as that clack happens, he just looks at, at Wisp, who gives him the nod. He just nods as well, and we gracefully walk into the sunset. Hold, <laughs> we, we walk into the. <laughs> yeah, so, as, as you guys all, as you guys all, uh, onto our deaths, you know. Yeah, yeah. As you guys all prepare, um, you see, Aiden and Dala. Aiden pulls out a shield, like a smaller shield, and a um, a mace. Uh, seems very well made and then dala pulls out a um a big fucking like like borderline She's tower so shield and a long sword um and uh, so cool dala She's yeah so cool. we all have a crush on dala let's be fair um dala how about you, you um you get you go with wisp and knock see more of like a front line yeah she nods and as she walks you guys notice any sound see like of her Full plate that she is wearing is very muffled. She's quieter than uh, you and and uh, Kimura. You know she's quieter than Aiden is. Well, I mean, I mean, everybody knows that because she doesn't talk. But um, yeah. <laughs> she sidles up to wisp um, and knock. Yeah, and she just kind of <laughs> nods, and Aiden's like, "All right, well, um, let's burn some shit with fire, eh?" Yeah, and as you guys take a step down, you take a step onto like one of these boulders, um. And knock, wisp and Dala, you just like sink as like there's like as like Urgh. yeah as like the boulder you step on is like suspended completely by web, 
Oh, you can shit. Hear... This entire thing is suspended by like, a, like an entire floor of web. Yeah. yeah, so you have now stepped yeah. onto a giant boulder and are like, not, you're not falling, like, but you are sinking. Or suspend, yeah, or suspend, like slowly suspended and kind of like mm -hmm. stressing out the webs. Yes. Like a giant yeah. trampoline. A I, exactly. Giant spring yep. trampoline. Yes. Um, um, and I, uh, yeah, and Can as I... you or, go ahead, yeah, I I will give you guys. Um, um, essentially, you guys have a free turn of actions to do, because as you step, there's like a shudder. I want to from the web. Yeah. No, this is this is a really bad idea. I tried to do this last time with knock, and it just ended up being really bad because I had to create a balloon, a knock balloon. <laughs> Um, so never, never mind. a bad day. Yeah, <laughs> never mind. We're good. We're good. Okay. Um, um, okay. Yeah, so you guys uh, have. Well, and my only question action. is when knock, when we step on, let's say West steps onto the boulder, let's say she would just step first. Yes. The, the, it weighs. I step on it, it weighs down even more. Is there like a buoyancy to it? Like if I step, does it adjust eventually as I go down? Is it kind of like about like. like a spring? Yeah. It, it does. It does balance itself enough but you can definitely tell that your weight is definitely like and you almost get nervous because you hear it creaking almost like like you're stepping onto a rope bridge and it like and it's sagging so now you are a little bit lower than the mm. other boulders are so okay. there's no there, there is there is no like where i am we're at a certain base there is a spring i, I just want to look to wisp and look to darla and say I'm I will, as he's doing this, I'm already kind of assessing the situation and thinking very quickly. I want to, um, she takes out a small leather loop out of her bag with a golden wire that's bent kind of like into a cup shape with it. So like the cup, it's like a wire bent and then the loop kind of sits in it. And what she's going to do is she's going to take the loop and kind of put it like around your finger and then uh the 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 wire will kind of shrink onto it and when it does that she's going to pull it off and as you do you feel yourself kind of become a little weightless i'm going to cast levitate on you but i'm going to i'm going to look Hot when balloon. i immediately start doing this i'm going to hold one of your like hold on to kind of like your waist so like um your your belt where you have a lot of the trinkets and i'm going to look over to to, to dala and go hold on to him we have to keep him as close to the ground as possible before he gets too high. Hold him and pull him forward with us. And hope that she'll grab him. And we I want to try to hold him so he can levitate just far enough to be off the ground, but so we can move him forward as we walk. Okay. So she looks a little because she's holding a big fucking shield and a sword. She kind of Yeah. You can see her kind of grimace for a second and then she puts away her shield. And then okay. holds on to, okay. Uh, just knock. just to get to um, where we need to get to. Uh, DM, we're on one rock. How many rocks till we technically get to where the people are? Or how many feet? If you wanted to go ahead and give me that. How judgment. many feet? Like fifty. Yeah, f fifty feet. How many and is there? Are we talking like a skipping stone, like a checkerboard of rocks, or are we talking about like this is one boulder and it's like another boulder like twenty feet away? Well. Let me show you. I love boulders. Oh I, I know they're nice clouds. Boulder. I didn't have spider web tokens. They look like spider webs to me. They look like about. spider webs. You're good. All right. So we're, uh, we're on that first boulder, right? Where were we? Yeah. At? So this is, okay. yep. So you are right here. Um, and then Marcoris, Kamora, and Aiden are back behind you just a little bit. Um, you guys have done your turns. Uh, mm -hmm. the three of you, uh, or Knock and Wisp, um, Aiden, uh, Marcoris, and Kimura, did you guys want to do anything with the turn that you have? Because you see them, you see them sink down, and then what you see before, like, essentially before combat begins, you see the three-faced man turn, one of, and one of the faces glares I mean, it if says we're, something, but you can't hear. If we're getting a surprise round, I, I want to fire that dude. Okay, so yeah, you essentially have a surprise round um, okay. that you can do what you want. Um, I'm gonna let Kamara go first, um, just because I know that Isla wants to shoot, shoot something. something. Right. 
Yeah, I always want to shoot things. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so um, just as they stepped off the platform, by the way, this isn't a retcon, this is just something that I forgot to say. Um, essentially, um, it goes click, it goes clack, and then she basically says, you really don't want to fuck this one up. Um, and then... She, I would, would put, put his, his hand, hand up, up to you, you just, just real quick, like... like I got, I got something, something I can do, do that, that, if you might mind. mind. You know, you know Ket doesn't, doesn't want to not be part, part of this, this you know? Right? Make it quick. Be Ket inclusive. inclusive. As, um, as, and then, he, wait, wait. as she says that, she basically gets prone on that ridge and get, like gets into a comfortable position. As you, um, as you, are about, about to get, get down, down. He's, he's like, good luck, luck. and he, he kind of pats, pats your bottom. <laughs> Who's made hers or mine? mine? Both, Both of you. you. He's yes. like, uh, uh, good, good luck. luck. And he casts his blood on you guys. <laughs> Kamar makes, makes one, one face, face, and, and Marcos makes, makes the opposite. opposite. Yeah. yeah. So, so um, um, he has 30 feet. He can actually bless one more person. He's going to bless uh, Dala, I think, because it's his sister. Um, and so you guys are under the bless spell. Um, Whenever you make an attack roll or a saving throw before the spell ends, the target can roll a d4 and add the number rolled to the attack roll or saving throw. Yeah, yeah. Wait, is that every turn? Yes. Oh. While he, while he has concentration. Yeah. Bless is, is okay. Oh, like, sorry. Is uh, I, I, um, I blanked for a second there. You, he cast bless. bless. Yeah, we know what bless is. We yeah. got blessed from by Cat, or were we already blessed, and now we're just aware of it? Or is there such a thing as blessing? I don't know. It's a weird I'm just trying feeling. to be cat about this. I'm just, I'm just so, trying to be. Um, your bum feels warm, but uh... catish. Kamora knows what he just did, right? Yeah. So yeah, you get this weird kind of chaotic feeling, but it gives you some sort of like weird concentration. You feel a little more That's honed in. That's not good. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um... After you, Cat. What do you think? Three faces up there. Uh, too. Yeah, she's already aiming down sights at this point. She's being a bit hastier than you would normally recognize her to be. Um, and probably mid-sentence, she fires at free face. Okay, go ahead and make an attack. So you're, you're basically just... like, hey, so you, do you think... <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. All right. um, okay, we're going to fire... We're going to fire. Now, we're going to make the first one a good one. We're going to use a grit shot for this. Um, but we are also going to use our sharpshooter rules. So we are minus five on uh, the, to the roll, uh, but a plus ten to the damage, but we do have advantage. So, and you're blessed. And I'm blessed. And you're blessed. Phrase. Bless up. Bless up. <laughs> <laughs> go, go to church on the Lord's Day, you feel me? Hallelujah. Right, okay, Praise so. Kit. Praise After the, the sermon, we down the basement for some food. Okay. Adv advantage? Advantage? And, uh, pew! Waiting for the pew. Oh. Waiting for the pew. It... My god, 29. Oh so my god. 24. Oh my <laughs> By the way, oh my from my perspective, god. from my perspective, that was on a 1, and then it rolled over to the 19. Oh <laughs> my god. Because the other <laughs> one, okay. the other dice was a 3. Oh my god. Okay, so, does that Well. Hit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Aya. Aya. Okay. Aya. Right. Okay. Uh, and it is the musket. Um, which. Oh no. I'm a bit laggy this end. I do apologize. Oh, low damage. Okay. Oh, Seven. He has to go over an ocean. Plus ten. Okay. So. Seventeen. Plus ten. Yeah, because of the shot. What are you? You yeah. guys, OP level five. PCs. <laughs> That's why we took sharpshooter, because we're That's sharpshooter. We yeah. All of a sudden, there's a big crack in the air, um, and if you're not ready for it, it probably makes you jump. Um, you see the man with three faces kind of lurch, and you hear ah, like just echo, and he turns around, and now all three faces, as they, however they can, are looking at you, and you see him pull out a like a gnarly-looking longbow. 
and he starts I, pulling out an arrow. Can I get my and shot off? And now it is your turn, yes. And uh, Markoris uh, gets interrupted by these this gunshot. He goes, well, that's kind of rude. And then he holds up both of his hands in gun shapes. Okay. And he goes, click, clack, and he's going to fire off two Eldritch Blasts. At this guy. <laughs> oh my god, what is he? Yusuke from Yu Yu Hakusho? This is the best! <laughs> Fair and... oh my uh, so god. these are two of them. I'll roll them. I have to roll them both separately. Okay. That's uh, first one's a 25 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Ah, uh, that's so good. Uh, second one is a 22 to hit. That will also hit. Click, clack. Uh, first one for one oh. point of damage. Oh, no. All the good mm. rolls. Second one for nine points of damage. So it nine evens out. points. Ten points of damage. Uh -huh. this guy. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, he almost gets knocked off. But it looks like he has a pretty, like, good grip on somehow on this like webbing and like he almost falls over but like the webbing and his boots keep him mm -hmm. onto the boulder so this uh, eldritch energy just shoots up from our chorus's finger guns yeah what does what does this eldritch energy look like maybe in comparison to our uh long lost friend calder sure yeah um it's what would it calder's look like calder's was like a greenish okay liquid this lo this looks more like a pure lightning bolt of energy so it's white in the center and bluish purple tinged around the outsides okay awesome all right well that is everybody's actions let's go ahead and roll initiative <laughs> initiative I've rolled initiative no. for these guys oh, already, boy. so I don't have to roll a million. <laughs> smart man, smart man. Um, Damn, yeah. strike. It's the first one. Why is it doing it twice? I don't get it. I don't know. Oh, it's it's kind of funny. It is. It's uh, really oh, finicky on my side, too. Baby. I even changed my Wow. Hot yeah. dog. On hot dog. Hot what? dog. Give me a hot dog and a coffee. And coffee. there's a six on <laughs> Wisp. All righty, it is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, oh, we got to roll young Draxius in there. There we go, he got an 11. Yeah, right. um, got an 11. Do, Let me can add I use less in No, it is to saving throws and attack rolls. Oh, okay, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, he's already in there, okay. Uh, let me redo that. Okay, uh, Kimura, you are up. Okay, um, basic, uh, how close is Makora standing to, uh, to Kimura? Uh, technically, he's five feet. So on on the battle map, he's in the bottom right with you. So yeah. Oh, right oh he's to the left. Feet. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. then, um, <laughs> as she rips the bolt open and one of the basically like residue stuff, I want to say casing, but I don't know. I think that's how my rifle works. Um, flips out and you hear that ting. Um, she does just kind of go, "You're such a show off," and then she just slams the next one in. And then you see her pull the rifle back, shove something down the top, pulls the rifle forward again, and then and then goes to goes to fire again at free face. Okay. <laughs> at free face. <clears throat> Not two face, but three nope. face. Three face. Um, okay, go ahead. This will be no uh, face. And when I'm done with him, oh, he wow. will be negative face. <laughs> um, that's a super one if I've ever heard can't of. We just say faceless. <laughs> Got negative it. face. Got it. Un unface. Unface. The dabs. <laughs> Go ahead and roll your right, attack. Um, okay, uh, we're gonna fire. We're gonna use. It's not gonna be advantage, but we are gonna use our sharpshooter rules. So. Okay. Pew. That was damage. Can we ignore that? That was the damage. Oh I yeah. Go damage. ahead and Never yeah, mind. Reroll. <laughs> How does twenty oh, work for you? Nice. Uh, twenty. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> Uh, and we'll roll the damage. Okay, here we go. Right. Um, it's whatever this is, plus 10. Uh, we'll play 14. We're not getting the high damage out there. No, I rolled the wrong one again. Ladies and gentlemen, just bear with me whilst um, I <laughs> figure out how the fuck this, this works. Okay? Okay. We are learning the and 24 damage, please. Oh my Ooh, god. god! Good golly what god. The fuck? <laughs> and I thought I was the heavy. Like... Stop taking my fucking job. By the way, when when this happens, by the way, I'm when unemployed. I get <laughs> Mark Horace, you're wearing um you're wearing a um, my blue coat. 
you're wearing a blue coat and I'm wearing a green one, yeah. right? They're kind of kind of a not... duster, yeah, yeah. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So when I'm firing this, you're kind of seeing the body jolt and it's like a puff backwards mm -hmm. that kind of ruffles cool. the coats as they fire. Mm -hmm. um, and then she she basically rips the bolt out again, and you hear that ting, and another one flies out. And then she That's goes, um, yeah. and then she kind of looks up at my chorus and is like, "Okay, you're done. Go on." She's being a lot more. Um, <laughs> you, you can tell there's more of a sense of giddiness about her right it's now. It's playful. Yeah. Yeah. Which is not something she usually does. I'd love to, but actually, it's Aiden's turn. Aiden, do you want to do anything? Aiden is going to do something. <laughs> You know how mind, I works. Yeah, we don't want you to feel left out. Thank you for those blessings. Do you want to... <laughs> he... Let's see. Um, how far can he go? Not that one. This one. <clears throat> so he I is agree. going to... Excuse me. Um... He is going to cast Misty Step, mm. and he's going to plop some 30 feet ahead of him. Five, ten. And he kind of looks at he's like, I'll see you in a jiffy. And uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's kind of like bouncing on this web. He's like, oh, this doesn't feel great. Um, and he's going to try to make his way. And you see him like move. And he is struggling, so anything within the webbing of this area for everybody is difficult terrain. Unless you want to try to maybe jump on the rocks. And he is uh, making his way forward. And that will be his turn. Um, oh, I don't think it uses a spell slot. Okay. Um, it is the giant spider's turn. Um, and it is kind of like sitting there against the wall kind of just waiting for something to happen or being like waiting to be told hmm. what to do um as it basically is this the, is is this the brown one this is the brown one that has okay. the saddlebags on it okay um it is dala's turn she's kind of just holding her action in case anything comes close to, to the three of you guys but she's she's currently holding onto uh onto knock so she can't do a whole heck of a lot at the moment uh so she's just holding her action in case anybody comes close um let's see let's see if there's actually anything that she can do hold on one moment you know what well uh she is going to she looks at uh one of the cultists um that's kind of to her right um and all of a sudden you hear she doesn't move from her mouth does not move but you hear these strange whispers and they and like one of the cultists like begins shaking his head um he needs to make a wisdom saving throw uh which is a 12 which will fail and he takes 13 points of Ooh. damage from Dissonant Whispers. All of a sudden you see um, this cult is kind of shake his head and hear something. And all of a sudden he got it like starts uh, like almost seizing. And he kind of shakes and then all of a sudden just falls into nothing as he falls below. And then oh, you hear a splash. And she absolutely killed the first. <laughs> see that? Um, Dala killed it. He says, he says to Kimura, see that? Dala killed a guy. <laughs> Um, and it is Mark Horus this turn. All right, all right. Uh, let's see. Um, well, I'm gonna, you know, stick with what works. I'm gonna fire off another pair of blasts. It's this at, boy uh, at the art at the uh, three faced man. Uh, yeah, first one ooh, is uh, wait a minute, that was damage. Ignore it. I'm, I'm pulling an Isla. Ignore it. Here we go. First one is D and D is hot. Fifth 15, um, but uh, if that doesn't hit, I can roll a d4 plus. Um, you can roll your d4 if you think you should need to. I will roll it then. Um, 15 plus 4, so 19. As 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 Aiden's kind of trying to meander his way, he's like, 
don't forget about cat and and then <laughs> that allows you to hit so you do hit all right i do hit um so that yeah. first one uh does five points of damage oh my god and then i'm gonna fire again that's a 19 again and a full 10 oh point of oh, juicy damage He's not gonna get Sweet. the chance to do anything. Yeah, fuck. fuck these guys. Um, I mean, yeah, he's not looking good. We've had it, okay? Yeah, we've had it. We've yeah, had been stuck it. on the ground for way too long. <laughs> so everyone dies. We need to see the sun, damn it! Um, and do you want to move, or is that? Uh, your no, way? he's just he's just gonna hang back there and uh, is also going to wait for Jaraxius's turn. Okay, perfect. And it is... I will be right back. Gonna be back. All right. It is one of the cultist turns. He's kind of looking at um, We're kind of looking at the situation, looking at the kind of the head cultist and the three-faced man, trying to see what to do. Um, and he is going to excuse me. Let's see if he is in range. He is going to, uh, he pulls out a hand crossbow and points it at Aiden. He's going to take a shot. Um, I believe it's at disadvantage. Let me see. Hand crossbow. Let me see the range on it. Um, 30. Yeah, so it's going to be at disadvantage. Um, see. It will be a d20. I'm just going to. 2d20 plus 1. Uh, so that'd be a 3 plus 1. So that misses. So this cultist kind of takes a shot and it goes wild um, and completely misses Aiden. Uh, the second cultist um, is going to do the same thing. Um, and he is within 30 feet, so he can just make his normal attack. Which will be a 19. Does a 19 hit Aiden? Um, a, ni a 19 does hit Aiden. And he will take... Where is it? Where did it go? Uh, D6 plus 1. Uh, so, 3 points of damage. So Aiden takes 3 points of damage. Um, and there we go. Uh, it is Jaraxius' turn. Yeah, yeah! Um, you can see him right, yeah, right, right there. He is still currently invisible. Yeah, the German, German. Um, so I already cast Kandra. I can't really cast a spell through him, but I'm going to um, uh, bring him uh, down upon uh, that uh, the face spider there. Okay. And uh, try to stab him with his uh, his tail. Okay, go ahead and roll an attack for Jaraxxus. Noise. Uh, let's see here. Where is it? There it is. He's going to sting him with his scorpion tail. Jesus Christ. A 23, yeah, that Jerry! That Ooh, okay. we are on a roll today, y'all. Keep it the oh, good work. Man, Keep it thank the good you. Work. Some days roll 20 is good. nice to us. Some days. Um, that does six points of piercing damage. Okay. Yeah. And then, uh, if this spider is not immune to poison, which I don't think it is, it has to make a constitution save. Okay, in which he rolled a natural one. Ooh, so it's going to take... Damn. 11 points of poison damage on top of that, as devil poison gets inside this spider. And uh, Jerry pops into being with the attack, of course. Yes. And, and then shouts out, for the glory of Lord Marcoras and also Captain Cole. And he stabs it right in one of the many eyes that this face spider has, and the, the, the spider begins to wriggle like yeah. manically, and then like plops on his back and is dead. Nice! <laughs> Yo, Jerry, he, he did a ton of damage to it prior to the uh, fight. He did, Already, yeah. So, so Jerry, oh my God. Jerry yeah. is, impales this eye, and I'm sorry if this is gross for folks at home. He impales this eye with his scorpion tail and plucks it out and grabs it and bites into it. Oh my God. And then Nock looks Mental. at looks over at the spider and he's like, points to it, looks over at Macorus. That's the most efficient burger I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a 
Dev it's yeah, he is good. He's a good bird. No. Yep. Doc turns his attention back over to the fight. <laughs> okay. Um alright, that is Draxius' turn. <clears throat> There's a moment where you you know, things are going well, you've killed two of these guys already. The three faced man is not looking well, and he's kind of looking back and forth. And he looks towards the uh, alcove, and you see four legs appear as the spider begins to crawl out of its home. And you can see him <laughs> in the top left there. You see this white, pale white spider, but its arms are red or like an orangish red color. And his, and his fangs are huge. And as Jerry takes a bite out of his eyeball, he turns to this other spider and goes, You are next. <laughs> <laughs> and then yes. you hear, uh, Draxis hears, How you make sure you never return to your home. And it begins crawling out of the alcove. And they can move. Let's see if. Right here. Be like 5, 10, 15, 20. I think I can get right here, I believe. Yeah. And he can't quite get to. Well, he gets up to Jaraxius, mm -hmm. uh, but he can't attack, or it can't attack oh, yeah. because it uses all its movement. But that is its turn. Wisp, you are next. Okay. So I would like to drop the levitation on our good friend Noc. Okay. So uh, um, our friend Dalo would also feel that he is now weightful again. Uh, and then I am going to use two key points to cast silence at the group uh, on the, the right of all the cultists. Okay. So I would like to corner them with that spider in a silent spell. I can cast it up to 120 feet, so I should be yeah. able to, and it's to a cast 30 it. 30 foot radius? It's a 20 foot radius. 20 foot so radius. I want to yeah, try to get, get as of many them. of them as possible. Yeah, you can you can get um, all of them for sure. So once again, she kind of, uh, she takes the, um, it's just verbal and semantics. So you just see her kind of like do these hand mo movements and say these words and out from her fingertips and from her body is kind of just this black, ickery, thick substance that kind of shoots and travels, and you just see it kind of, like, shimmer over the people um, in this, like, black kind of, like, almost like an oil slick. It looks like a bubble. Almost like an oil slick bubble that covers everybody, and they are cast in silence. All right, and, uh, and what does silence uh, do, if you want? So it says, for the duration, uh, yeah. Um, display and there we go. So for the duration, no sound can be created within or pass through the 20-foot radius sphere centered on a point you choose okay. within range. Any creature or object entirely inside the sphere is immune to thunder damage, and creatures are deafened entirely while inside it. Casting a spell that includes a verbal component is impossible. Okay, perfect. And, and then is... I would like to move... Is this rock something, this rock right here, is that something I could, like, walk on, or do I need to make a check to get there? No, that one, that one, one you, right that one you'd, you'd have to probably climb, because Nock is now way Okay, down. then I'll, yeah, I'll just move to where I am, kind of like that secondary little, like, rock thing where I am. I'll just kind of okay. move so that everyone has space to kind of see and move okay. around each other. So yeah, you have, uh... That would cost you like 10 feet of movement to get to the one you're That's on fine. now because it's a little bit Perfect. higher. Um, cool. So. Awesome. Perfect. And then I that that is my turn. All right. Knock, you are up. Sweet deal. Um, Knock um, looks towards like the cascade of rocks and whatnot, but his eyes, he, as he's looking beyond the rocks and the webs, trying to discern like what exactly he should go, his eyes just can't help but look at the giant spider that is in front of him. And you just see, like, anybody who's next to him that would be Wisp and Dala, you just see this, this shit-eating grin that just grows upon his face. He's just like, that's gonna be one for the books, a.k.a. my belt. 
and he just yeah, I want to uh, DM. Would it be possible to make a uh, athletics check to jump my distance so that I don't have to touch the web and go where Iden is? Um, so you can jump up to your strength score in distance, I believe. Um, okay. Let me see. Seventeen feet. Jumping. Yeah. So long jump. When you make a long jump, you cover a number of feet up to your strength score. If you move at least ten feet on foot immediately before the jump, which I don't think you do where you're at. Uh, when making a standing long jump, you can only leap half that distance. Either way, okay. each foot you clear across the foot of movement. So what's your strength score? Strength score is a 17, my friend. 17. So you mm. should be able to jump. Uh, it would be, what is half of 17? Like seven, eight? Eight feet? Eight feet. Um, so you, I would say just to round up to be 10 feet, you would not be able to, you'd probably be able to maybe hold on to the rock, um, but you, jump, you wouldn't jump. be able to, you wouldn't be able to get on to it okay gotcha um, I say, i'd say you could make an athletics check to see if you could grab and hold on to it without like getting caught in the web but there is a chance that you will get caught in the web if you fail uh, the rules have been so good today but is the luck on my side ah fuck you know what we're gonna take the risk uh, i'm gonna make the jump all right go ahead and make an athletics check for me is there... 25 <laughs> 25 i will say that yes you can make it to that square 10 feet um right here and you are holding on to the rock um you're not you're not stuck in the webbing at all okay um could i pull myself up in this turn or no uh you could technically yeah because uh yeah. you've only moved eight feet so okay yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna pull my i'm gonna pull myself up so it's like it's just the, the growls and grunts of knock as he's pulling us up off the on this on this rock i am looking i am looking down you know every so looking down at the webs being like okay i'm i'm, I'm gonna fall through if i hit that i bounce a little bit you know that's in his mind and he pulls himself up to the uh to the top of the rock okay yeah so you could move yeah so that was essentially 15 feet of movement mm. um you're on the rock now so you still probably have like oh. five or ten feet of movement uh let me go ahead and move just next to Aiden and okay. um I'm, I'm, when he, he runs up pulls back out um his axe off his back after jumping over and looks at Aiden and says I'm gonna hit him first he kind of looks at you and smiles like not a five anything say about it big boy uh <laughs> <laughs> no, just big shitty and grin smile Lo man loves competition Blood is oh, yeah. boiling at this point. I'll end my turn. Okay. Um, it is the man with three faces' turn. He he turns to uh, the other cultist and he says, "He's like, we can't let them. He's like, yeah, we can't let them get to the spider. He's like, get to the laboratory. But they don't hear anything. And he's like, what do you mean? Go. And he's like waving them. Like they wave back. And they wave back. Um, he is going to use. Let's see. He's going to use his movement 5, 10, 15. Um, he doesn't seem to be impeded by the, uh, um, the webbing at all. Though he would be leaving Jaraxius's. Um, Yes, now is my time. Melee. So he can make a, a melee attack of an opportunity. I like. will. Jerry spins around with his, his long fucky tail. Um, that is a twenty. <laughs> that's a, that's a natural twenty. So oh, what is Jerry? What is Damn, his normal, son. What is his normal damage? Um, God. normally he does. Uh, it, it would be one d four plus three, so it rolled a six, normal. Right. So, uh, so it'd be the full amount. So it'd be four. So it would be six plus four, so ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it would be. Um, um, and then he yeah. would need to make a con saving throw. He would. It's a DC fourteen because he uses which he, which uh, he fails. Yes. So and he would so also he takes crit that damage too. Ten points of poison damage, uh, but the but the max would be it's three d six poison damage so it'd be 18 points of poison damage max okay um so i think what we see and i don't i don't do you mind if i take the reins of what we see do it as drexian <laughs> also destroys and kills the man with three faces he's running and like we kind of see the view of the, the man with three faces and there's like a moment where he stops and all of a sudden the stinger of drex comes through his throat 
and there's just like a blood splatter, kind of like like the an alien when bur- right. the alien bursts out of the chest, but it's from the throne. Uh-huh. You just see the stinger, and then it's like I kind of get Mortal Kombat vibes because like the uh-huh. stinger pulls out, you just see Draxia's just face. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And then as 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 the th- three faced man falls over, Jerry is hovering there, and he just gives this like guttural cry of triumph but then he's also framed as this tiny little imp in front of this enormous spider that's yeah. right behind him absolutely and yeah. and the man with the face just falls and is like hey like hanging is suspended in these webs um the cultist um i think they do get kind of the the grasp of the situation and um cultist one is gonna double move along the wall 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 to right here um and that is his turn as he just double moves we're back up at the top of initiative with Kamora. Woo! okay right uh i'm just thinking very quickly just... you guys are fucking rolling by the way uh-huh right? well, some it's weeks it's bad day. some weeks roll 20 is not bad. you guys are rolling really fucking well is that cultist the 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 very far one yeah uh 110 feet motherfucker right okay um i'm gonna take another rifle shot so uh okay. as all this happens kamora is just about to fire on the free face to man again it's a scratch that moment and for anyone that's right next to me you'll see just a very slight adjustment uh a sigh of disappointment almost like a oh, and then just like like a slight adjustment and then over to that guy so uh we're gonna make um we're gonna make a rifle attack okay. basically what is the range on your rifle uh 120 what's is it what's the two distances uh 40 to 120 so this attack will be a disadvantage uh the sharpshooter feet negates that i believe never mind no yeah. I, all right let's double check uh <laughs> I think it ignores cover, but I don't think it would... I don't know. Let's double check. Sure. You might be right. Uh, uh, yeah, attacking at long range oh, does you, not yeah, impose attack- disadvantage on your ranged weapon attacks. Yep. Go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Roll your attack! Okay, perfect. Right. Let's I'm trying to, I'm trying to help these like 10 HP fucking cultists' <laughs> lives, okay? I'm just trying to keep them alive for a little bit longer! You, you say that. You say that. If my pistol had the range, I would have used my pistol for that. Um, because then I could have blasted two in one round. Um, but... Fair. Bomb. Yeah. Okay, right. So, fire one! Pew! Duh! 16 hit. Yes. Wicked, bro. Um, now, 10's, 10's my... 11's my minimum damage. No. 16's my minimum damage. E- okay, yeah, you fucking this. kill this guy. Can I, ro- can I roll it anyway? Uh, can I roll it anyway? Yeah, please do. Please do. <laughs> 23. Oh, yeah, you just, like, blow a hole in his chest, and he just falls to nothingness, and you hear the splashing of water as whatever was spell or whatever was keeping him on the wall dissipates, and he falls to the ground. <laughs> okay, Makoros, this is yeah. what you're about to witness now. As she shifts and adjusts, um, if you see what's going on you basically it fires off you see this guy basically just get <clears throat> you just imagine yep. he will helms into the water and then no, you had shot him here yeah. when helm screams you just you, you, you just it. you just said that you just like, widow made him yeah you just yeah. tickled the folly guy in me <laughs> but, but it's not that it's it starts giggling she, she, um, she goes he... She said she just, <laughs> and then she pulls the bolt back out again. You just hear it, and, and the thing flies out again. Yeah. He doesn't comment. He lets her have her joy. Uh, that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Um, it is Aiden's turn. Um, he is. Let's see. Is there anything he can do? I think. Wait. I think he gets distracted. And he's gonna move up here, because he's like, "Oh, fucking big spider! Oh, fucking big spider!" And he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna cast, inflict wounds, at third level, <laughs> onto, onto the spider. Um, um, 
Is Inflict Wounds... Is, I hate to be this guy. It's a touch yes. spell, isn't it? Oh, is it? Oh, it is a touch spell. Never mind. I can't yeah. do it. Um, let's get rid of that. Thank you for letting me know. <laughs> gotta be uh, honest. With you the gotta way be honest. Nerd. You gotta, you gotta yeah. be honest. God, you're deep, deep playing my chorus right now. <laughs> also, uh, my call. <laughs> it's clipboard out. To my calculation. <laughs> Pardon me, <DM. laughs> If I refer to page uh, 73 of the player's handbook. Page 73. Edition 6. Um... <laughs> I don't think he actually has any range. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. Um, let's see what. I'm I should have been paying attention. I'm, I'm high fiving uh, I Iden uh, in my mind because we both have no fucking ranged anything. <laughs> I got a dart I can throw 20 feet and that's about it. Yeah. Um, that doesn't fucking help. That doesn't fucking help. That doesn't fucking help. Just keeps on climbing rocks. I'm. I'm I... <laughs> I'm not great unless I can get close to him. You know, it's it's all right. I mean, take your time. You know, I'm sure you got some healing or something. Just do your thing, man. No one's taking any fucking damage. Well, not uh, yet. We might. Do you want me double. to take some damage? Do you want me to twist my ankle or something? No! He's <laughs> like climbing off the rock. That's his turn. Um, it is the giant spider's turn, and it is going to just try to GTFO with the... Uh, um, spirit stones on its mm. back. Um, so five, or let's see, yeah, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, thirty-five, sixty. So it's just climbing. You can see it skitter, skitter, skittering along the wall, and the saddlebags are kind of like hanging downward. Um, but they're strapped on pretty tight, so nothing's like falling out, but yeah, it's just like skittering along trying to get to where this cultist was. Um, it is Dallas turn. Um, don't mind me. Um, I don't think she has any range spells either. Um, I don't think she does. Um, she can. Ooh. She's going to take a couple steps forward. 5, 10, 15, and she's kind of like balancing on this rock. And she's going to cast Dancing Lights. That's not what I... No, Fairy Fire. Sorry, Fairy mm. Fire. Um, so what that does is each object in a 20-foot cube uh, within range is outlined in blue, green, or violet light. Your choice. Any creature within the area when the spell is cast is also outlined in the light. If it fails, a dexterity saving throw. For the duration, uh, an affected creature is shed dim light for 10 feet. Um, any attack roll against the affected creature has advantage if the attacker can see it. So, it's going to be like a... I like the purple color here. So, it's a 20-foot square, which should be like this, I believe. I am struggling. Um, mm -hmm. And she can cast it. That's Iden. Like right here, like right on top of the giant spider, on onto the onto tool, um, and it gets outlined in this uh, purple color. If it passes its save, if it fails its right. saving throw, which it rolled a natural one oh, for a total of three, so it definitely is in the fairy fire. Uh, so that will be Dala's turn. And Marcos, it's your turn. Yeah, uh, um, all right. Uh, let's see. I'm just going to sort of... Mar Marcos, uh, uh, feeling confident, is just going to mosey forward just a little bit to a non-sinking rock, right? This is still non-sinking yes, territory, that is, where I am. Yes, correct. <clears throat> all right. Um, he sort of uh, looks and he says, you know what, I'm sure Jerry's got this. And I'm going to hold my action. Okay. Um, just to see what Jerry does. <laughs> Against this giant spider. <laughs> Let's take a gander and see what happens here. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know why I keep talking in that accent. It's, it's a great accent. Um, it's because it's an Australian, mate, and it's too much fun not to talk in. Yeah. It's great. Time. True, true. Um, is that your turn? That is my what turn. Are you, are you I'm holding, holding your action, action. for. Uh, so, what I'm going to do it. is uh, basically, he is going to uh, hold his action, and uh, if uh, Jerry. You know what? Shared. You know what he's going to do? He's going to uh, pull out... Uh, he's not going to hold an action. He's going to pull out his uh, a crossbow. Oh, okay. 
and he's going to like as he pulls it out, he sort of turns around and and looks at uh, at Kamora and says, "Don't judge me. Don't look at it. All right, don't judge me." And he's going to turn <laughs> and he's going to uh, fire at uh, let's say this closest cultist here. Um, what's okay. the distance on that? Um, you are fifty, 50 feet away. Sweet. Then that Sweet. is just fine. It's within range. Alright. So he shoots his light crossbow at that guy. Uh, a 9 to hit, a but nine. I can roll a d4. You can roll a d4 if you wish. Or I am blessed. So an 11? <laughs> an 11 too soon? Just misses. Oh, oh, that's too bad. Just misses, unfortunately. All right. Well, they can't all be winners. That's alright. <laughs> just sort of like shrugs and just <laughs> like <laughs> stays there on the edge of the platform. Okay. That's the end of my turn. All right, it is this cultist's turn. Um, I'm going to roll an intelligence check for this cultist real quick. Okay. Um, he did not understand or see what the three-faced man was asking or saying. So he's going to try to fight. He's not going to try to run and leave, even though he sees the spider and he's kind of like trying to see what it's doing. Um, he's going to pull out a crossbow and shoot at... Um, our beloved Goliath. Initiative on mid. Uh, that's a natural one. Oh, oh my! I've rolled like three natural ones already tonight. Yeah. He completely whiffs. Um, <laughs> frowns and begins to reload. This cultist um, is going to do the same thing. He's going to try to. He's going to try to hit and knock for a ten, which I'm assuming misses as well. Negative, friend. God, cultists, you guys suck. I need higher CR creatures. Um, <laughs> Draxius, is your turn. It is my turn. And uh, Draxius is going to swoop in and land on top of the spider. And um, through Draxius, uh, I'm going to uh, cast a little a little spell. Um, let's do... Um, oh, that's a good one. Cool. Okay, so... Um, I need this spider to make me a intelligence saving throw. The big boy. Big boy. Big boy. Okay, okay. Uh, where is the big boy? Oh, right here. Intelligence, you said? Yeah. Oh my god, that's an eight. Yes! A four. He has a plus okay. four. Um, through Jaraxius's, uh, not even touch, he's just gonna fly like above him. Actually, he doesn't wanna like incur an attack of opportunity. Mm -hmm. Is he within range right now? I'm sure he is. Technically, uh, I'd say yes. Yeah, they are in melee. Okay, so um, he could get... <laughs> He's going to... Um... Let's see. So uh, so a range attack, uh, close close range. He's engaged with this guy. That would be disadvantage, but he's lit up with fairy fire, so it would just be a straight roll? Yes. Okay, so he is going to send a disorienting spike of psychic energy into the mind of this spider. Okay. And cast Mind Sliver. And uh, he does seven points of psychic damage. Oh. And there is also another effect here. Okay. Which is uh, that uh, before the end of Jaraxius's next turn, uh, anytime the spider makes a saving throw, they subtract 1d4. Oh, okay. Or the next saving throw. <clears throat> Okay. The next time it makes one. All right. Is that Jaraxius' turn? That is Jaraxius' turn as he drives psychic energy into the mind of this spider and says, bow before me. Okay. And as you as uh, Jaraxius says that, it is Chatul's turn. He's like, uh -huh. <laughs> no, bow before me. And me. he's going to make his first attack onto Jaraxius, <laughs> which is an 11. No, wait. Is that the right thing? Yeah, 11. That does not hit Jaraxxus' AC. Okay, so he's going to use his second attack okay. on Jaraxxus. <laughs> That's a 19? Skin. Yeah, that's... Okay, yeah, so yeah, he takes sure. seven points of piercing damage, and if he's ah. not immune to poison, needs to make a constitution saving throw. Oh, great. Okay, hold on. Um, let me make that con save. An eight. An eight is a fail. He takes eight points. <laughs> Jaraxxus dies. <laughs> <laughs> Draxius, who is famously powerful, but with 10 hit points, <laughs> just sort of like 
blinks out of existence and says, No! Avenge me, compatriots! And uh, ceases to be. The glass cannon. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Quite literally. And Marcoris goes, Oh, that's too bad. I mean, I mean it's just uh, it's a hassle. I've got to spend an hour oh, just filling my paperwork. Um, and Chatul is going to move 5, 10, 15, 20, 25 up in front of Aiden. It is going to take its third and final attack no, it on has Aiden. Three? Yes, it does. What? Uh, that is a seven. Um, and it, like you, all of a sudden you see uh, Chatul like rear up and then like just pounce on Aiden while he's like on this like one rock he's trying to balance but he's like got his shield up and you can see the fangs which are like huge just like over the top and like splintering and like pushing into oh, his God. shield and misses the attack um wisp it is your turn okay so um i'm i'm going to uh how am i able to get to this rock at all you'd have to um you could um you could just get to the edge of it with your um if you were trying to like Crawl across the. Uh, um, oh, we lost Ray. Um, wait, she's coming back in. Ray, can you bring Ray back? I uh, yeah, I'm. I'm trying to resuscitate. There we go. There we go. Um, so you would have to. You could like try to walk across the webs. Um, you, and it would be half your movement because it's a difficult train. Or you could try to jump. Yeah, like I want to try to do some dope monk shit. Okay. Um, um, what I is your? I want to try to like, uh, by by strength. Yeah. What is your strength score? Uh, fucking nothing. Um, it is a whopping thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. So you would be able to move six feet. So you'd only be able... if you. I would say actually, you might be Wait, able to. Wait, don't make I it have? I've got a. Don't I have something with? The... Do you have Hold something? on. Oh. I don't know. I've got to I've got to have something. I've got to have some sort of like uh Oh, that's step of the Okay, no, that's not quite it. I would say um, that um you could oh, make a 10 I'm going to use run, a, No, but... I'm going to No, I I'm going to use a key point okay. uh to to make my jump distance doubled for my turn. Okay. So, um that still doesn't get me too far, but it, it'll get me farther. Like I can, I can do more with that. So yeah, I'll spend I, I would, point. I would say you could spend a key point. Is that, a, is that a free action to? Yeah, spending a, or yeah, spending a key point is a. Um, okay. Uh, you spend a key point. Let me just make sure. Um, you spend thirty minutes or has key features require target to make a saving throw. Okay, wait. Uh, just says you spend one key point. I think it's just a free action. It doesn't tell me that it's a bonus action. And or what? Anything. Okay. Um, yeah. So I would say um, you can use a key point um, to to do that, and then um, you would be able to like move ten feet here and do a long jump. So it would double yeah. your yeah. So you'd be able to move double. Yeah, you'd okay. be able to do it. Cool. Yeah, um, that's what I want to do. Go ahead. I don't actually don't think you need to even make an athletics check. You could just move. Um, onto that rock okay. just fine i'd say as cool. you kind of hop and skip then yeah i'm just gonna move there and i would like to hold my action just to kind of see what's going on i'm just gonna hold an attack to see if something gets within my range okay so i'll hold a, a two-handed staff attack all right knock it is your turn yeah um i am going to make another leap of faith attack my boy in that web nah dog um let's go ahead i want to jump to the rock that is due to my left but how far is that uh ten that's feet. 10 feet i you know i feel we on wisp and everybody else needs for touch attacks because uh I'm there. All right, let's uh let's go with um I'm going to shoot a fireball at the spider. Okay. Go ahead and roll a d20 plus your is it your charisma, your intelligence for the firebolt. I was, I was about to write the fucking roll thing inside the chat again. <laughs> I'll be a thing. 
Uh, <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, die 20. I'm a little discombobulated right now. I didn't die 20. That's a 7. That would be a miss. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, it is a miss. Uh, but you still uh, yeah. have some movement. Um, I can. I'll make the attempt. I'll make the attempt of jumping. So like, it's kind of like knock. He kind of jumps back. He reels back and like on the jump, he like shoots the fireball forward, just like haphazardly, like mm -hmm. you know, like I'm some like he's some badass mage. He's not. Um, and he is going to try to leap to the other rock. Okay. Um, and you're you said you're uh you could we said you could jump eight feet. Eight, eight feet. Eight yeah. Feet. So this is um, a. <clears throat> Go ahead and make me another athletics check. If I take my axe and use that to extend my reach, does that help? So then you smash my axe into the rock instead of putting my hands on it? You can sure try. Make it look cool. Let's fucking um, do it. I would yeah. give you advantage on the athletics check if you did that. Let's fucking do it. I don't oh, need hell that. Yeah. Yeah, I don't need that hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't even really need it, but you use it to pull yourself up anyway. Nice. Um, so yeah, that'll be the, that'll be the point. end of my turn. Mm -hmm. All right. So we are at the top of the initiative. We are 10 minutes over where our normal break is. So let's take a break in the action for just a little bit. Um, we'll go get some snacks, drinks, use the restroom and whatnot. And then we will be back in about seven to 10 minutes for the last part of our episode and this combat. Thank you, everybody, for hanging out with us tonight. We really, really appreciate it. And we will see you guys in just a few minutes. Don't go anywhere. We'd love you. Jesus.
And welcome back, everybody. We're going to get right back into the thick of it um, with Kimora. It is your turn. Yo. Okay, right. Well, she jumped straight up, identifying that there's two more cultists uh, on the right there. Mm -hmm. And again, with this very strange gleaness to her, she doesn't even... Uh, she doesn't even bring her rifle with her. She actually just sets it down, jumps up, pulls the pistol out, and starts firing at the other two. It's almost okay. reckless abandon, but it's. But it gets. But she seems strangely focused, but strangely reckless. If that's. Like um, quack. Yeah, exactly. And your pistol has a 60 foot range. It has up to 90. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's really strange that the pistol only has 30 foot less. Than the musket you think it had far less but we've identified this isn't just the pistol this is the rotating hand cannon so we're gonna we're gonna roll Not with that too nerdy about it but uh. <laughs> Not get specific, but this is actually a revolving hand cannon um <laughs> built right. in 1862 by uh harvey uh isla where was this voice yes <laughs> what are we gonna meet this character? <laughs> so if Kamora dies, <laughs> you're gonna get a, you're gonna get Harvey, Harvey. Uh, bu- I was gonna call him, I was gonna call him Bum Filler for some reason. <laughs> Harvey Bum Filler. Bum Filler? Excuse Which, well, me. Why do you just call him Dump Hole at that point? It was, like, it was German. It was originally Baum Filler. Baum Filler. <laughs> which means tree <laughs> filler. <laughs> And it's tree hugger or something. Right? I was uh, just gonna say it means tree it's hugger. It's a druid. It's a druid. Oh, it's not be childish about it. Actually, it's a funny sound. Get your yeah. act together. Yeah, Jesus if I was Christ. to get super specific about the nuances of my spells. Right, okay. So, anyway, she's standing at Blaston. Um, <laughs> uh, now she's Danny DeVito. Let's go! <laughs> She's the trash man. Right, let's let's get some rolls out here. Okay, so she's gonna aim at the first one. Um, pew, uh, are the one that's in front. So I just I just pointed the map as well, as if you can see what I'm pointing at. 
um, sharpshooter rules. Here we go, baby. Oh, Kai. Uh, nine won't hit, will it? A nine will not hit. Them. Okay, well, we'll go for the second Blame. shot. We'll go for the second shot. Um, uh, again, she's doing this recklessly, so this makes sense. And she's actually stepping forward slightly as she's doing it, so she's also moving. Um, okay. And she's going to go for that second shot throw. Um, and that is 20. 20 does hit. Dirty 20. There we go. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. And the damage is 17. That is enough. Um, this bloke out of the way. Okay. <laughs> and it deals with him? Is he dead? What? No, yeah, he's dead. Oh, absolutely, oh, he's dead. Okay, so she misses the first shot. What well, I'm going to say, as she gets up, she and she goes to walk forward, not realizing that everything's kind of recessed down a little bit, She as she goes to fire, she kind of goes, and, and she actually falls backward and fires over the head, and then as she stabilizes herself again, she takes the second shot, um, and that lands. Okay. Um, yeah, and... That, that is my plan. All right. It is Aiden's turn. Um, he is going... Aiden, kill it. Kill the big spider. Don't go fucking burn it with fire. That's what I'm going to do. Um... <laughs> <laughs> You're facing your fears, buddy. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. Um... I'm gonna fucking swing at it. I don't know how he's saying exactly what he's doing, but he's fucking going for it. I'll be um, real cool the spot, all the stuff. You just hear, you, you hear uh, Wisp off in the corner going, immersion therapy, immersion therapy. <laughs> ah! <laughs> he swings. Um, actually, yeah, he's just gonna swing. Swing, swing. Um, oh! That's a crit! Yeah, I... <laughs> What's going on? Big guy. That's what I fucking thought. Um, so he does a d6 so that'd be seven uh plus the three so 10 points of damage to it um tickles it um and not in the right way but, um anyway that's uh i understand uh i don't i don't think he has i think he only has the one attack i believe um yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I don't think it can attack more. Act, attacks per action one. Yep. So that's his turn. It's the giant spider's turn. And he's going to uh, eat. It's going to continue to move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 45, 60. Um, you can see it kind of just scrambling along the wall. Uh, Dala. You bloody beauty. Um, everybody loves you. She's going to try to move. 5, 10, 15. And she's going to double move, even though it's uh, difficult to terrain. And she does get up next to uh, Tool. So, and that is uh, her turn. Marcoris. I feel like Tool is like a metal band. What should I think of? Um, yeah. Um, uh, so, uh, first of all, I mean... Marcoris just saw Jerry get poofed out Pretty of existence, mm -hmm. and so he's 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 just started like, oh that's too bad, oh no, and he turns around casually to uh, to Morris. You know what that means, don't you? What? He's got calling an intern, <laughs> and then um, I'm gonna cast uh, summon uh, shadow spawn. Uh, I call forth the shadowy spirit um, to okay. appear within 90 feet. I mean, this is a Tasha's Cauldron spell, and it is choice. Um, <laughs> I have to choose a, 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 an emotion for it. And so since, you know, everything was uh, real bad uh, for it, I'm going to uh, give it the uh, despair trait. So it is a shadow spirit of despair. That's going to appear about twenty feet on the other side of big of big spider. Oh, twenty feet behind him. Yep. And the reason he's going to do that is as soon as this shadow comes into being, somewhere where he can stand on level with this thing, you know. Okay. Are you thinking like he, maybe right? Can you see it? Um. Yeah. 
I think that's good. I don't. I want to be more than thirty feet away from the Drow twins. Oh, point. okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But not more than thirty feet away from. So, like, what about up here? Would probably put them. Yeah, I would put them within. Yeah, perfecto, 30 feet. perfecto. Okay. That's where this um, shadow appears. Um, it is a shadow spirit of despair. So as soon as this thing uh, materializes through a rift in the material plane, as an intern from his own office. Um, it is uh, a misshapen, uh, shadowy face that has like this wailing uh, Edvard Munch scream on its face. And uh, it takes its turn immediately after mine. So I'm going to end my turn. Okay. And, and then I'm going to say, the big spider, like that. And <laughs> um, he is going to let out a uh, dreadful scream okay. so each creature within 30 feet has to succeed on a wisdom save um and don't forget big spider makes this wisdom save with a d4 penalty correct from, uh, my last spell okay. so it, it's, it lets out this like that like real like it's bad <laughs> um it's a, this despairing thing and it is a dc 14 uh wisdom it just meets with a 14 even with the minus the d4 i rolled ah! a 17 and then i rolled a three on the d4 so it was oh 14. no so it just passes okay uh, then it, it's even sadder then um <laughs> and, oh no oh. <laughs> it reaches out like sort of like towards the spider this grotesque being um and i'm like it's okay it's okay marlene you'll get it next time Marlene. That's why I named her, this this despair shadow spirit. Yes, Marlene. Marlene, the secretary. <laughs> oh my God. She pops in every so often. But, she does. You know, she she oh, she's been no. working from home. She'll pop into the office every so often, and then she I just again. imagine her. So like I don't know. So from the office, the episode where Dwight's crying and he's like, Aah. like <laughs> yeah. that's what I imagine yeah. her sounding like. <laughs> Uh huh. That's I can name. hear that. I can hear it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Is that your turn, Mark? <laughs> That's the end of my turn. Oh, Marlene's up on this rock. It is the cultist's turn. Um, he's just out of range to uh, shoot at. Um, not. But he's gonna move five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. And he's gonna take a hand crossbow shot at um, Marcoris. Ooh. That's a 17 to hit. 17 absolutely hits. And you take six points of piercing damage from his crossbow boat. Um, can I give this boy a little bit of a hellish rebuke? You sure as shit can. Okay. So I'm gonna go, ow, damn it! And I'm gonna poke sort of um, point back at him and cast Hellish Rebuke, third level. Um, it is okay. a, a DC 14 dexterity save. Okay, he rolled a 20. Okay, so he dodges out of the way as this fire bolt shoots back at him. That would have killed him if he would have failed to. The minimum damage and it would have killed him. Okay. Uh, all right. So, it is Chatul's turn. All of a sudden, you hear um, a chittering noise coming from its mouth. Um, it begins speaking in a language no one understands but knock as Chitul begins to speak deep speech and it kind of turns its body back and looks at the body of the three-faced man and knock you hear it say in deep speech rise follower Gurgatar you are not finished yet and all of a sudden you see the body begin to like wriggle and move and almost like it it melts uh the three-faced man bodies melts and in its place the body begins to stand up or the clothes its armor begins to stand up and what you see begin to crawl out forming some vaguely humanoid form are a bunch of tiny tiny spiders all crawling over each other and are just maneuvering i'm gonna add 
in that to the initiative. Don't like um, it. It's like, it's like it's like the Rick and Morty, the, the Ant Man, but he's literally just made of uh -huh. like of millions of colonies of ants, but they're just millions of little spiders. Oh my god, I hate it. Hate it. He actually rolled right after, so that's gonna be uh, to tools action as he kind of bears down upon. Um, Dala and I, and it is the man with three faces, no longer resembling the man with three faces, just a bunch of spiders that you can, even from your distance, can hear like just thousands of little chittering noises. Um, he's It's got 30 feet of movement, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Um, and it is going to Let's see. All of a sudden, you see a a couple a, a spider jump out off the multitude and like off this body thing and land onto Dala. Um, let's see. And Dala needs to make a dexterity saving throw. Um, which she fails. She rolled a four. All of a sudden, you see um, let's see. I need to read this. Sorry. Uh, spider launches um, at one humanoid. The thing can see within ten feet. The, uh, the spider latches onto the target's skin unless it succeeds on dexterity saving throw. Um, blah 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 has a speed of one foot while on the target skin the spider can be killed by any means okay at the end of the target's next turn okay so you just see the spider crawling all over uh dala's armor seemingly trying to find a way beneath the armor and that is uh its turn um wisp you are up Okay, um, there's genuinely not a ton that I can do at this moment, um, because I don't want to be too close to everything. Uh, if my spell is no longer containing anybody alive, I will drop that, drop that concentration. Okay. Um, and then I would like to s I'm gonna stay where I'm at, just because I don't want to get too far away, but too close to everybody else, and everybody seems to be compiling. So I'm still gonna hold an action. I'm still gonna hold a two-handed um, staff attack, but I'm I'm gonna stay put for the time being. I, I want to see what's going on with everybody else in cl close proximity. Okay, perfect. Knock it is your turn, my friend. You're muted. Derek, you're muted. What was that? Okay, um, so pretty much um, what we're going to go ahead and do is that we're going to full-scale Yeetus the, uh, ourselves, Yeetus the Nakus, off this rock and um, head towards the spider. Um, so you said it's it's difficult terrain to move in, so do I have lesser movement speed as soon as I am in the web? Yeah, so you have uh, difficult terrain as half your movement. Half my movement. All right, I'm going to move the, the, the five, I guess the five foot here, and then I'll move the rest towards... This gentleman, this this spider gentleman, if you would, and I am going to beat this thing with my axe. I'm going to take a big old swing. Knock it, jumps off the rock, hits the webs, and is kind of unsure to the pattern as it adjusts to his weight, and then he just makes eye contact with all eight of his eyes and just starts sprinting over to that direction. And I'm going to try to uh there's not ten feet in front of me. I'm going to swing my axe. All right, go big ahead old and... clee. Roll an attack. Purple window syndrome. I'm dying. I'm dying. I don't know where I am. Help! Help! I'm good. My deck. Be a 12. 12 on the first attack. Miss. All right. I will miss this attack and I will turn the as I miss and whiff as I'm swinging at one of his legs. I then turn the axe the back way and I'm going to hit him with a back swing to see if I can go ahead and hit him for the second time with my second attack. Okay. And hope to God that. Thick! 
Tons of messages as well, unfortunately. Indeed. Right. Is Tide's turning. Turn? Tide's turning. This is good. <clears throat> Guys made of spiders. It's not good. It's okay. Right. We have well. the actual economy. Kamora, <laughs> it is your turn. Okay, so um, she is going to finish off this cultist to the right. Oh, okay. She's going to step forward again as she's firing, and she's going to go, Pew! She says pew? She uh, does say it, indeed. No, she doesn't. She doesn't. <laughs> she does. I'm making this choice for her, but she does say it. <laughs> Damn it. Okay, right, sharpshooter rules, go! Uh, does an 11 hit? Uh, it does not. Roll your bless, your bless, yeah, your bless. But, your bless. yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so, um, that's fine. We're gonna very quickly roll up the one you pull, so. That's a one. Does a 12 hit? Just barely. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't count. Go ahead. No damage. <sighs> okay, I can't believe I'm saying this, but thank you, Cat. Um. Don't forget about Daddy Cat. Don't forget about Kit. <laughs> Don't forget about Kit. Okay, roll. So, like every time the bless like happens, like I'm just, like turning 18. and like pointing finger guns at people. Um, <laughs> Eighteen. That is enough to completely obliterate the final cult. List. Perfect. So if we just if we just barely hit them, but we did damage, let's say we blew his shoulder off. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. yeah. As he's like oh. using it to hold on. So essentially what happens is he's holding himself up because he was using his hand crossbow to shoot and he has one hand on the wall that's using to hold him vertically. And you shoot and dismantle his shoulder and the rest just like falls. Yeah. And so as the body falls, the arm is still sticking there. Oh. Um, just hanging. Um, Gross, I know. And what, and the rest of him falls? Yes, and yeah, yeah, okay, and Kamora's about to do something ungodly that you have never heard ever in your life. And she's, <laughs> and she's, she literally, she's, she goes, she goes, Ha! That's what I could get for hanging around. And she turns the pistol and then starts firing at the spider. Yeah, okay. definitely 86 God. No longer exists. Jesus. <laughs> My God. She punned. I expect that out of a chorus. <laughs> And are you going to take your second attack? Yes, yeah, at the um, spooter. Um, she is going to... Um, she's going to use... Um... Oh, actually. Let me double check that. Folks. Is she going to do this? Or is she going to do that? Uh, ooh. Is she gonna do... uh, I think she's going to use um, Dazing Shot. Mm. Okay. Yeah, okay. So, we've got to figure out if she hits first. So, um, sharpshooter rules, please. And... <laughs> fire the fish guy. Okay. Does a 15 hit? Um, a 15 misses. Mm -hmm. But does Ket dictate the outcome, I wonder? Give Ket. Yes, you hit. do hit oh, with a 17. Oh, yes. Okay, right. Um, which means. 23 damage. Alrighty. And I need it to succeed on a constitution 16. Fails. It fails. Fantastic. It has disadvantage on its attacks until the next. I did read it, I promise. I promise. <laughs> I did I promise. Um, or suffer disadvantage on attacks until the end of their next turn. So, yeah, it gets disadvantage. Okay. Perfect. It is Aiden's turn. Um, Aiden is going to cast Inflict Wounds now. Yes. Um, and he will do so at third level. Follow your dreams, Aiden. Follow you. I'm following in my dreams. Um, that wasn't the right accent. I just um, imagine him enough. like having this moment where he realizes he has to touch the spider, and he's like, yeah. <gasps> and I think I think he what happens, like, uh, yeah, because he rolls a natural one. Um, so I think what he does, he's he like reaches out and he's like, oh, hey, 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 and he touches, like, oh god, no, 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 I can't do it, I can't do it, I can't do it. No, and he like turns away, and I'm gonna have him make a wisdom saving throw because he actually does have like yeah, a yeah, that's a good idea. Um, 
<laughs> can't fucking do it. Um, he rolls a 19, so he doesn't turn and run, but he's just like freaking out. He's like, no, no, no. <laughs> um, but it is the giant spider's turn, uh, not to tool. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And all of a sudden, you see the spider go into the alcove and disappear from view. It is Dala's turn. Um, the souls down. Dala notices this. Um, she kind of she notices this spider, um, like crawling over her. Um, she's also looking at like the situation. Looks at Aiden, and you see her go to like swipe the spider. The little spider away and she doesn't and she brings her long sword uh, she brings out her shield and then she's going to swing with her long sword um, and she's actually going to um, cast searing smite as a bonus action uh, the next time you hit a creature uh, with a melee weapon attack during the spell's duration your weapon flares and deals an extra 1d6 fire damage uh, if you cast it uh, second level or higher, it does an additional d6. So I'm going to make an attack roll for Miss Dali with her longsword, which she rolls a 20. Yikes. So she will do six damage and then an additional 2d6. Uh, so that's eight, 12, 13, 14 points of damage. Uh, to this spider and she actually does have another attack as well <laughs> so she's gonna take her second attack as well uh, which is a 21 yeah and I think it's it each, each time she attacks it does the damage I believe uh, the first uh, time she attacks it like dispels it the first successful attack is it, she has oh is, it, is, it, is yeah. that what Searing Smite does I think so yeah let me let me double check yeah uh, it's like I the next time you hit or something like that yeah uh, the next time you hit a creature with a melee attack yes so it's not concentration or anything like that. So um, I think you casted it. So it should be, yeah. Um, so she just does another, um, where did I roll? Did I not roll it right? No, I clicked the wrong thing. Um, she does another eight points of damage. Yes. So she does really good. But as she ends her turn, what we see is this spider crawls up onto the neck and then down Oh no, Dala! And buries itself Ooh. into no. her skin. No, my um, drow girlfriend, no! Oh. And I need to see if she makes, if she takes the damage now at the end of each of her turns thereafter. Okay. Um, Imagine Mark Mummy. Morris. Fucking beat her turn. This was, the, I'm sorry, I was doing my turn. Mark Morris says, No, Dala, no, yeah, I really well, love her. And you, and you see her kind of like. Doing a little dance like she got ants in her bit. pants. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, all right. Um, uh, Mark Chorus is going to be like, oh, that's not good. And he is going to... Um, he's going to uh, cast uh, Toll the Dead on that big spider boy. Okay. So that is um, a wisdom save. A wisdom saving throw. What is the DC? 14. Fail. Nice. Um... Uh, is it, yes, it is missing some of its hit points, so it takes 13 necrotic damage. Oh, okay. Wow, you guys are chunking this thing so fast. Trying. And then um, Marlene is going to try to get as close to that spider as she can with her movement, but she is on a, oh, a rock. So I don't know. You tell me how close can she get uh, when she has... Let me see what her movement is. Um, her movement is 40 feet. 40, she, she doesn't so fly. She, move, she doesn't she, fly. So she can move 20. Okay. She could get in melee. She do then. She get right up on that spider. And again, she's making this mournful wail where she gets right up on there. She's like, like that. And she reaches out with these um, shadowy claws and um, slashes... A twice at the big spider. Okay. A twice. A twice. A whole twice. First one for 10 points of damage. 
and second one for 10 points of damage, and that's all cold damage. Okay, so 20 points. Yeah, Marlene just just lays into this guy, almost as if she mourns Jerry and his loss. They dated. Maybe Marlene was the one in charge of getting folks to sign a card for Jerry on his birthday. We don't know. <laughs> so they dated in high school. Mm-hmm. Maybe. <laughs> all um, right. I also want to say, and this is just for funsies, um, that spider at the start of its next turn. Which is like nowish, I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, they um, have their speed reduced by twenty feet. Oh, shit. because they're within five feet of Marlene, and she makes it very sad. Oh damn. Okay, it is Chatul's turn, um, and Chatul is going. Let's see. Chatul is going to looks around and you hear him say, Pitiful mortals. I shall take one of you if I must. And is going to um, start uh, is going to try to grapple Aiden. And it rolls a 17, so Aiden needs to make a check. Acrobatics or athletics. Oh, Acrobatics man. is better. And he rolls a five. All of a sudden, you see Aiden get wrapped up by Tatool, and Tatool begins webbing him, wrapping him up in webs. Um, I will say... Like trail mix! <laughs> Making a snack for later! Not so the weed! Um, not the weed! Um, I will say that that is all that Chatul can do. Um, that's his, his full turn, essentially, to gra first of all grapple Aiden and then begin to wrap him up. Um, that is his full turn. Um, it is the man with three faces turn, who is no longer like the, the man, man with three faces. faces and a million spiders. Yes, and he is going to go up and attack um, Dal. Which is an eleven that is absolutely gonna miss. Um, it is gonna he is gonna make a second attack, uh, which is a nineteen, um, and Dala takes fifteen points of damage. Um, nine of it being slashing, six of it being necrotic. Uh, so let me just mark that real quick. And then. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's going to use its burrowing spider attack again. Uh, the dollar needs to make a dexterity saving throw or get another spider, which she passes. So uh, she's able to flick the one spider away, um, but she's looking a little hurt at the moment. Um, Wisp, it is your turn. Okay, um, uh, oh, how far is this? Um, we are, there's too many, there's too many fucking people. Um, <laughs> population control. Sure, let's go here. I will use my, I will use my movement. I have 40 feet of movement, so I have to should still get me up and in, into combat with uh, the man with many many spidered man yes <laughs> um so i will i will kind of like make my way make my way over there <laughs> and, <laughs> and i'm just going to attempt to hit it with my two-handed um quarter staff so basically i like go up to it and i realize that now that it's like a bunch of spiders and i really don't understand like how to how to really hit this thing to make it hurt so she just kind of like is going to just start kind of like kind of chopping into the sides of this thing to see if she can just start like knocking spiders out. Okay. Perfect. Go ahead and uh, make some attacks. 21 will hit. 21. Two handed, only five points of damage. Okay. And then on 
she'll do that and then she's gonna like try to boot kick through it and just like kick through its chest okay um yeah. that's her second attack so we'll do an unarmed strike which is 16 to hit that's also hits cool and that's another eight points of damage all right yeah, yeah you did like some of the spiders kind of go flying off down into the yeah you know, like, the I dark just expanse like, yeah. yeah it's just like sweeping through like ants in a giant you know puddle yeah, it's just like, so many of them and they just <laughs> kind of like come back and fill the spots that she like cuts through and the thing just is like a tiny bit smaller but only by like a centimeter it yeah. doesn't even matter yeah there's just so many goddamn spiders so many spiders um that's my turn all right her, and i would like to use a key point to do patient defense as my bonus action. okay perfect knock it is your turn see uh i am question dm can i go ahead and swing at the um as he's being coiled up by the webs, uh, Mr. I I Iden, um, can I technically cut the web? Um, you could probably cut it to release yes. him from the spider's grasp, but he would still be webbed up. Right, yeah, which is supposed to be the cut off the whole grapple, if you would. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I am going to do just that, then. I'm going to use my first attack to swing at the web, and then I'll make my second attack after that. Go ahead, um, so it would probably be... To... Yeah, go ahead and just make an attack. I, I would say that makes sense. Go ahead and make an attack. Bird, bird, bird. It's 15, sir. 15? Okay. Yeah, I would say that... Um, I think that would meet, like, the AC of the web, so go ahead and roll yeah. damage. Yeah, Six. you're you're able to cut like the the kind of the thin web that is uh, coming from Chitul, um is cut. So you sever like Aiden and like as he's like maybe three quarters wrapped up, and his mouth okay. he's still like his head is still like exposed, and he's just like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> and he's like wriggling <laughs> and whatnot. But yeah, you're able to make your first attack to do that. All right, awesome. So yeah, I swing and swing. Now I cut I cut him free, and then I'll turn the axe the uh, blade side up and swing up at the face of this uh spooder 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 okay that's 24 to hit that does hit go ahead and roll that hell yeah six six all right um yeah so you are able to just uppercut and take a like a decent chunk and you see this like almost like it's just like deep 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 red ichor like almost like it's like thick it's almost like tree sap almost that is cut from this from this creature it's very weird um and yeah you're able to get that attack is that your turn uh that would be the end of my turn yes sir all right kimura it is your turn okay so um after firing off the pistol shots she thrusts the hand cannon into a side holster this is where things get weird um she <laughs> This is gonna. I so hope this works. She takes a rifle round and throws it up behind her, and she cartwheels backwards. So when her hands land on the ground, she grabs her rifle. So when she comes back up, she's gonna try and catch the round and load it in. Okay. She could have just taken a step backward. I know. <laughs> Make an acrobatics check for me. Yeah, for the love of yeah. Christ. I think this is the first time we've ever seen her have fun, so I'm here for it. Yeah, yeah, me too. I know, right? 23. I'll give you advantage on your attack for doing that. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, you see Aiden as he's like getting wrapped up, like, there you go, are you listening? <laughs> <laughs> What's this wiggling about? Remember, kid. It's, it's almost like, so you know that scene from Hook? Where that little kid's like, there you are, Peter. It's like, like there you are, come on. <laughs> so and then he's whole, like, ah! <laughs> this whole thing happens like she thrusts it, throws it up, cartwheels back, lands it, like basically pops it out, grabs the round, shoves it in. Um, I'm not going to describe the next bit. We'll see if this actually lands first. Um, and it is a musket shot. So I'm going to use sharpshooter rules of advantage. Roll. I have no idea what I just got. Does a 20 hit? Yes, a 20 yes. hit. Yes, fantastic. We're gonna roll that damage. That was Stack shite, it up, it's fine. 16 damage. Okay. He's not looking good. Perfect. Like at all. Um, and what she did actually do 
it would have been great if she'd finished this fucking thing, but it's fine, I'm gonna use the line anyway. Um, as she basically loads that rifle in after doing this whole action thing, imagine the cinematic, it zooms in and it pauses for a second. She's like, you wanted a snake? Eat lead. And she fires and nicks up <laughs> straight across. <laughs> <laughs> All right, is that your turn? I feel that like I'm watching Spider-Man fight with a gun right now. So much quip. All right, I'm just so gonna much. try to break out because he's breaking the fuck out. Um, he rolls an eight. He does not break the grapple, um, or like break the webbing, and that's his turn. Uh, is him trying to get out. Um, Dala is gonna attack this uh, spider fucker because um, they don't come here to fuck spiders, so we got to kill him. Spider fucker, no, we're not here to do that. Why do you think spiders? Spider fucker. And she's just gonna, she's just gonna swing um, with her long sword. She's been doing all right. Uh, Sixteen does absolutely hit um, for six points of damage. Um, and then she's going to make her second attack, which is a 16, which also does hit for another four points of damage. Uh, this spider fucker is also not looking that great. Uh, Marcoris, it is your turn. My internet's about to crap out on me, so good, 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 good. I'm going to fire off two Eldritch Blasts at spiders, man. Which um, one? There's a lot. Spiders, man. Man made out of oh, spiders. The spider. yeah. Not Spider Man. Spiders Man. No, Spiders Man. Legally distinct. <laughs> um, a 17 on the first one. That hits. Eight points of force. Okay. And a 14 on the second one. And a 14 does hit. Okay. I could roll a d4 for a 10 max damage. And you obliterate force. all the spiders. How? Pow. pow. Um, also, I need to say that um, Dala takes 11 points of um, necrotic damage as well. Mm, that's cool. Um, cool. From that spider? As this, as from the spider. This, yeah. Okay. Um, and one. then um, Marlene steps up to that big spider again. Okay. And with a mournful wail says, There's cake in the break room! <laughs> and... Um, <laughs> she just slams into this guy again. This is um, oh, a d20 plus three. No, no. Oh, me. I gotta roll it. I gotta roll it. Oh, d20 plus three. Um, an, uh, an 11 for the first one, I guess, doesn't hit. Uh, 11 misses, unfortunately. She swings again. 12. A 12 misses, unfortunately. <laughs> she misses twice thinking about cake. Okay. And that's the end of my stuffs. Okay. Is, is um, it because Marlene is a ghost of despair that there's n actually no cake in the break room if you were to there's go not, charge No, the there room? is. It's just not great. It's just, it's carrot cake. Yep. Ew. It's, it's, it's dry. Carrot cake. That's, the, that's the word. They didn't even use that's cream so cheese good. icing either. Uh, it's like some no, like, no, it's just store like, brand uh -huh. nonsense. Store brand, yeah, like white. Just, uh, just no. Like you bought it at Shaw's cake. or something like no, that? Yeah. Did you sign the um, birthday card for Jerry? <laughs> All right, let's get let's get rid of Marlene. She's worse than this giant spider. Um, the giant <laughs> spider is gonna try to GTFO, and all of a sudden, like, grabs onto a web and starts climbing up. Gonna provoke an attack of opportunity from Knock and Marlene and yeah. Marlene. Yes. And Dala. Um, I, I, I'll let Knock go first. Yeah, this motherfucker's trying to walk away. So Knock Knock sees like the immediate like <laughs> panic in his like in in, in all the eyes and. Stets turn around. Knock looks and goes, No, you gotta go on in my belt. And he just jumps up, and I want to see if I can grab onto like one of its legs and then just swing at my axe's attack at thorax. It's oh, big ass, yeah. big, big old, big old ass. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the axe as as I'm holding on to it at the exact same time as my attack of action. Go ahead uh, and roll your attack. <laughs> I did it! <laughs> a 19 does hit. Yeah. I did it! 13! Ooh. 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 Fuck this thing! What do we see as you kill yeah. Tool? The oh, fantastic. 
So as Nock jumps up and grabs onto the leg, he swings his axe with his other hand, letting go of the leg as it pulls him up, hits him into the thorax. Hopefully this spider is rearing at, at this point, and with the rest of his strength, he's going to pull himself up as high as he can with the strength of his axe and bend it into his thorax as it comes up right above the spider and just drops the axe straight into its head and falls down with the entirety of the spider yeah. onto the rock uh, closest to what would be his where he was climbing up and, and just collides down with the ground with it. And as you do this, you hear, all of you hear, you hear go, no, no. And as like you cut, you hear the echo, I'm sorry, father. And it just like wriggles up and like, you know, it's like, like they hurl when they die. It does mm. that. Uh, Nock even look, look, gets really close to the spider and says, I'm your daddy now. <laughs> <laughs> and then with like one, the one actually pulls the axe out and then grabs one of the fangs and just cuts one of the fangs off of the spider and then takes it to take a look. Is there any like venom or anything else falling out of it? Um, make either an investigation or an arcana check for me. Ooh, let's do an investigation. 13. 13. Um, there is, um, what you see is this large thing. It's, I mean, it's probably the size of a, like a, maybe a, a, a short sword or a scimitar. Um, and it's got this, thin, sticky ichor that's like reddish-orange in color that's just like continuously seeping off of it. Um, this thing looks gnarly. Like, like that's my type deadly of gnarly. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, so Nock, like, follows the as soon as he crashes, uh, that smoke billowing out from like with the, the impact of the rock of the giant spider, and then sweet nothing to the spider's ear, I'll take that, that, that fang. And I'm going to take one of the uh, long pieces of cloth that are hanging off the belt, and I'm going to then wrap the spider's fang around it, but like almost wrap it at the uh, top, and then just pull it. And um, I'm going to get off the spider for right now. I'll wait for everybody else to do what they need to do. I I will read just real quick. Um, so this is a lore and a magic item. Um, so uh. Chatul's Fang is a plus two scimitar, essentially. Um, it, uh, I'd have to, I have the whole thing that I'll give to you. Um, in addition, you can make one attack with it as a bonus action uh, on one of your turns, because it is very lithe. Um, in addition, Chatul's Fang does an additional 2d4 acid damage on each successful hit. And then the oh. lore that you get from this is uh, Chatul was the weaver's prized creation. Dark and twisted magic was used to create this intelligent and devious creature. Chatul appears as a golden orb spider. White flesh and fur cover its legs um, and fangs of orange and red. So I'll add that to your character sheet if you wish to use it as a weapon. You well, you sure best believe... Can. I'm ballerina twirling like a son of a bitch. One axe hit, one axe hit. Summertime with the fang. Just spider ass. Oh man, I can't wait. Um, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> Literally, as uh, as Nock is like severing this fang, Kamora like shoulders her rifle up, and literally you just hear from the back, woo! And and <laughs> she just fires off another shot. Um, and then as she realizes she's just got everyone's attention, just she just goes. Up. And just I see you having fun. It's not to see you having fun. Oh, no. Also, as she fires a shot, a bit of um, cavern ceiling comes loose, and dust just falls on my chorus and and uh, mm -hmm. and Kimura. Well, and and now as you guys are paying attention, you see Dala is just like trying to rip off her armor as this something is still there, and you can hear Aiden be like, "Get me out! Get me out! I need to help my sister." He's like, "Get me the fuck out of here!" And he like seems pretty. I will, I will start, I'll run over to Aiden and start cutting him out of the, okay. um, of the Dala takes another eight points of necrotic damage. She is not looking good. You she can see her skin Come on. getting seeped. Um, and then you're able to, all right, what are you using to get him free? Um, I have, uh, do, 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 do. Um, that ain't gonna sorry. work. Yes. Inventory. <laughs> 
I have a dart, so you need a I have, knife I have or something. A, I have a dart, so what I'm gonna try to do is just try to like use it kind of like a almost like a tweezer pick mm -hmm. and just try to like kind of. I'm like, making shred. my way over as quickly as I can. Too. Yeah, I'm trying to shred <laughs> this this uh, webbing around him just so I can. Okay, pull him so out. with a dart, that's gonna take some time. It's all she's got, so she's just gonna start and she's just gonna kind of look around to see if anybody else is. Oh no, I have a small knife. I lied. I'll take out the small knife instead. Um. Uh, Mark Horse is rushing over. He, I'm gonna rush towards Dala. Okay. And as um he's like helping her get out of her armor, he's uh, he's like he tries to make light of the situation, and so he's like helping her unstrap her arm. He's like, "Don't worry, it's not the first time I've done this." She doesn't seem unstrapped. very enthused. Like she seems no. very fearful at this point. Yeah. Um, and then you see. Don't worry, you'll be all right. You see. Um, let's see. How are we gonna do this? Um. I need I need an initiative roll from Wisp. Okay. Give me a hot second. For some reason, my character sheet decided to uh, bamf, bamf back. So it's just loading. Okay. Uh, you said initiative? Yes, because I need to see who acts first. Because she's... Seven. Seven? Okay. Uh, yeah. Dollar rolled a ten. Iden... Um... Got an 18. <clears throat> Aiden's going to try to, as you're cutting, he's going to try to break free. Um, let's see if he can get out. I'll give him advantage on the roll because you're helping him out. That's a four. And a five. Oh my god. So she, he does not break out. And Dala is going to take another 2d6 necrotic damage. How's she looking? right now yeah. as she is writhing and takes this like the last bit of damage you see it crawl up her temple up her face into her brain uh -huh. and then she just goes limp mark uh leans down over her and put hand puts hands on her says it's all right everybody stay calm i'm gonna cast spare the dying on her to stabilize her what you, you're gonna have to read that to me sure thing sure thing I touch a living creature that has zero hit points okay the creature becomes stable okay so basically they're stable at zero but they're not dead so any so saving throws they need to make right they don't need to make so with what this creature did to her if she hits zero hit points she dies shit so as you cast spare the dying it does nothing can I, like, it's she's like perma dead already, like I can't like. You're not sure. Lay like, hands. You, you, ca you cast spare the dying and it does nothing. I'm gonna touch her again and try to jack one point of healing into her. Okay. With my lay on hands. Uh, you cast your lay on hands. Nothing. Shit. And I, I'd say finally breaks through. And comes running over and he's like, fuck, fuck. He's like, I don't know. And he like picks her up and starts shaking her, like trying to wake her up. He's like, come on. Um, and he casts Cure Wounds um, at the highest level he can. Nothing. Shit, though. And he's, he kind of just sits there just thinking. Fuck. Yeah, I mean... Okay, okay, can't give you anything like um, like revivify or anything like that. Any sort of spell that can raise dead people. Uh, I mean, oh God, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I thought I could stabilize her, but something weird about this spider bite. Well, I, I don't have anything like that. Unfortunately, and. What he does is he closes her eyes, takes her head and, and kisses her forehead. And then he says something a little strange as he says, Remember, Dala, just I know, just I know. Don't listen. 
don't listen to him. Valk hops off the spider's corpse onto the loose webs with that kind of same look that he kind of had ever since being inside the cave after Vader's death, walking over towards the body of Darla. You see tears coming from Aiden's eyes as he's kind of just bowing his head and kind of his, you see his, he's it's quiet, it's the quietest you've ever heard him, but you can see his shoulders rising and falling. Doc wants to go over towards the body, crouch down, drops to one knee, and looks Aiden in the face, and then just looks at him enough to see until he gets his attention. He kind of turns to you and... So this is what happens when he fuck with spiders with you, eh? Yep. This is what... We signed up for, eh? This is what happens when you're warriors. You enter battles. You die on the battlefield. And her... She died a warrior. She yeah, was honored you. because of it. Yeah, for your fucking cause, huh? Our cars became your cars as soon as you decided to go ahead and help us. We're guilty of that both. Nock wants to kind of like take his hands and slide them underneath Darla. He brings her gloves and like, nah. You ain't touching it. We need to get out of here. One way or another. And you know the way out. You're going to stay down here with her. You want to stay in this place, surrounded by this. Is that the fate to which you desire? He kind of looks around at all of you. Doc looks at him and says, We've already lost one. We had to leave him behind. We don't have his body, just his memory. Let's get out of this place. With her. We owe her that much. And I, as I say, say we, I kind of jest to the rest of us in the party. We owe her this. You can see him shaking as you say this. I need you to make me a persuasion check. Persuasion. <clears throat> she been intimidated his ass. We're getting this shit. No, I'm kidding. Um, let's go. 18, sir. Fine. Follow your lead. Then kind of like puts his head over. He goes, "You're the one who knows the way out. Am I right?" Only way out's further in. Way out where? To the laboratory. I don't know where that is. I told you I didn't know anything about it when we first met. So back to your city. I ain't never been to your fucking city. The only way I know is to go deep in back home. Then we go back home. And he looks to the right, like, as, as Nock puts, finishes putting the rest of his hands underneath her, underneath her forearms, he brings her in close. And Nock If you try to grab her again, he's, he keeps her. He's like, nah, you ain't fucking touching my sister. Get your fucking hands off her. I'll take her. Nock then takes his uh, hands and releases. You're going to need your axe, big boy. And he stands up. Everybody, uh, make me a perception check real quick. <clears throat> Seven. Ten. Twenty. Twenty. Wisp and Kimura from within the alcove that Chatul had come from, you see the faint 
glint or shine of something. Something catches both of your eyes. Just I'm gonna just kind of yeah. I'll like get her attention. Yeah. Kamora's gonna fly up there. Okay. But she's gonna have um the rifle's gonna be up. No, actually no, the pistol's gonna be up. <clears throat> okay. Kamora, as you fly up, you look around. You see a large, uh, like opening. Uh, where it seems Chatul had his nest. Uh, you see webs kind of just every which way, and you see a tunnel that goes farther down. The other thing that catches your eye is the glint of treasure. You also see several bodies that have been wrapped up. And strangely, one of them catches your eye. And you look, two of them, three, four of them have armor, clothing, even through the webbing you can see that you recognize. Amongst the treasure, this hoard that Chatul had seemingly gotten in tribute. Uh, immediately, she holsters the pistol and pulls her dagger out and begins as hastily but carefully trying to cut through this webbing. I yeah, think through the, through the process as well, I would have tried to been following because I can't fly, so it would have taken right. me a minute to like come up and, and climb. And once <clears> I'm <throat> behind her, seeing what this is, I would like, I would like to help her do whatever she's doing. Okay. You cut through the webbing and reach the bodies that you were aiming towards. Wisp, you see this similar thing. You see. Um, very intricate tapestries, ivory statues. You see um, several bottles that look like potions that are kind of just strewn about in this area as well. Anything while this is going on that looks like it could help us immediately? Like, I'm not, I don't care about potions that look grandiose or things. Like, she's looking for things that could be utilitarian in this moment. Uh, yeah, you see four potions and a scroll that's rolled up that seems to be... She just starts, she'll just put them in her bag and wait till later to look at them. She'll okay. just start putting stuff in and then making sure that whatever Kimura's doing and if she's trying to, like, unwrap bodies and do stuff like that, she's helping do that as well. Okay. Does Kimura recognize any of the faces? Specifically. Specifically, no, you don't recognize any of the faces, though it would be very difficult for you to recognize any, like, to recognize any of the faces, even if you could, as the the bodies have been, their skin has been stretched across their skin, and it's still oily and gross, but has been stretched as tight as it can around the skull and the skeleton. The armor, uh, sinks though and is loose along the bodies as you recognize four armors and four sigils of the onyx legion as you look you notice that their weapons are missing anything that they had was missing you also distinctly notice that as you kind of take account Usually there's five, and the captain or the squad leader is specifically missing. As you look at the insignias on their armor, dedicating or dictating their rank. Do they have any uh, separate identifiers? Kamora would advise that squads tend to have a, a separate, like their own separate sigils, if that makes sense. Well, not squads, but the individual functions within. 
Yeah, so you see um, what looked to be like maybe a cleric or a healer, um, some like special operatives. A lot of them have, um, this squad in particular has like marks that they've kind of etched that you can see are uh, essentially keeping tally of kills. Mm -hmm. And these guys are like etched, like have many. So and Cora it seems will identify that... this as what is essentially an elite hit squad. Yeah. It seems that they did not survive to tool. And one of them is missing. Okay, uh Kamora stands up and well what Wisp can see is just the back of Kamora. And she kind of stands there motionless. You're okay. muted, Ray. I think you're muted, Ray, yeah. Sorry. Um, Sorry. Is... Uh, are the are the symbols to me legible enough where if I looked over there and saw it, I would recognize it as the same symbol as the one that Kamora wears? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Then I... I will, con I will leave her at the moment. Just give her that physical space. I'll just continue to kind of peruse around what could be in this cavern that maybe I missed over and just but stay there in that physical space I just want to give her that time to kind of process okay. um, make me a make me an investigation check sure it's a four four I'm I'm very distracted and kind yeah. of just not even paying attention right now I'm just kind of more so making myself look busy than mm -hmm. anything else and yeah, other than what you've already grabbed, you're not seeing anything that could be immediately useful to you. Okay, cool. Um, Perfect. What is and I will else? just kind of... Oh, no, I was just going to say, I'll kind of turn my back so that I'm facing outwards towards seeing what everybody else is doing. Okay. So I yeah, can and, what, and what, we do, what do we see everybody else doing? Uh, Aiden's made has stood up and he's carrying Dala in his mm -hmm. arms and is just kind of waiting... To see he's, he not, he's not heading back to the other to where we were beforehand he's just chilling he's just kind of hanging out for the time being all right Marcos, um Marcos is going over to see the three-faced man's remains um, okay. looking him over to see anything worth grabbing but he also waves knock over knock walks over to Marcos. so i'm both looking you know to see if there's anything on him yeah but as i'm and searching i turn to knock and i said what are we doing we're going back with right. Are we going back with uh, uh Aiden and, and Dal? Well, not Dal, just Aiden. We're going back with both of them. We're going Spider back. Left. We're going back with one of them, baby. There's only one. Knox yeah, eyes get really serious looking at towards Macorus and like just like you could tell like boring and he says, We're going back with both of them. She died fighting for us and what we needed. She deserves to be buried as a warrior. And if Iron wants to go ahead and take her and do whatever the Drow decide to do, then we'll respect their tradition. But you're not going to dismiss what she has done. I'm trying to dismiss nothing, man. I'm just saying, I mean, the dead are dead. Unless you want me to Make her stand up and walk alongside us. She's no good to us anymore, all right? And I know that's hard to hear. I mean, it might be different from uh, the things you hold to be true, but um, greater man than me have built an entire reputation on the bodies of others. And that's all she is now. She's a body. That spider left here with all them soul stones. Headed somewhere deeper towards the laboratory. What if whoever's down there has some use for all those things? They're going to stop us in our tracks. We don't got time to go back and hold a funeral. Let I didn't do it. Doc's eyes still haven't left your face. Damn the spider. Damn the soul stones. You understand papers to write things down, keep things documented, consistently think of a bigger picture. Do you consider yourself to be a warrior? 
No, I don't. And you have no idea of what it is to die a warrior's death. To die on the battlefield. But to be forgotten. Dismissed. She may be a body, but what she did will live on through us. Empower us to do better in battle. Remember, mate. Regardless of the funeral, her spirit deserves more. You should respect that. Uh, listen, I mean, I'll go with whatever the group thinks is the right thing to do, but and you saw it here today. The universe is against us, my friend. All we've got is each other, and all we've got is each other while we're living. Start carrying each other around while we're dead? It's just gonna slow us down. Are you telling me I should have left you back in that fucking hole? Hmm? Because at the end of the day, rescuing you slowed us down. Taking pity upon your situation. Should that have been the reality? Hmm? Hey, man, I, I, I mean, if I didn't prove myself today, I don't know what I gotta do to prove myself to you, but... She did the same. She proved yeah. her worth. She proved her worth. And it's gone. And, and you're willing so easy to forget, my friend. I cannot forget, man. You, man I'm just being a realist. Like, come on, no. You like value. There's not just value in money. She lived and died in our company. I've lost two people. Down in these mines. My people don't live in caves. I live outside with this fresh air. But she didn't even get a chance to go ahead and live any longer. To get back home, she deserves to be home. I think at this point, you hear Aiden. Yeah, but we didn't want to go back home, did we? That's why we left. Nocturne. As you, you, yeah, you see him, and he's he's the body is still uh, he's he's set Dala down, and you can see wrapped. He has her sword and shield and her cloak wrapped up under his arm, and he says. I would have wanted this to uh, see what's forward. See where that spider went. The unanswered question, you know. What's the, the next question? Tunnel? The unanswered question. Going back home, we'll be uh, hated, persecuted, probably. probably. I'd probably be killed. My family worships that very fucking spider that killed my sister not no way in fucking hell I'm going back Doc has like this questioning yet curious almost like those stone gears are turning in his head as he's looking towards Aiden Aiden fine don't return home I misunderstand your ways. You worship the spider, now the spider is dead. How would Cat want her to be buried? I've never asked him. Let's start questioning. Now again, and he just walks past you towards where Kamora and was one. <laughs> I'm gonna follow. Leaving, leaving Dala's body anything? behind. Three Face Man have anything in his position? No, because he was all spiders. He was made he was, out of spiders. You, you just see like studded leather armor. That he the, was uh, made out of spiders. Okay. Spider boy. Um, Nock is um. He's going to walk over to her body. 
and stare. It's going to take a minute. You can go back to the rest of the party. Yeah, I think uh, Aiden, like the last thing Aiden says before he kind of climbs up to where uh, I, uh, Kimura and Wisp are before we turn back to them, he just says, She ain't going nowhere. We gotta go forward and get you a fucking paper notes or whatever the fuck you're trying to find. Come yeah, on, now you're getting it. And he climbs up. It'll take him a couple, like a minute or so, giving Wisp and Kimura some stuff. I'm just, I'm keeping to myself unless Kimura makes it known that she would like to be spoken to in this moment, but Wisp is just kind of keeping tabs on how everybody else is doing and just kind of, just kind of looking around, just kind of that awkward kid kind of like, like on the corner of the wall, just like sticking my, my heel in the dirt, just waiting for everything. Awkward, you know? <laughs> she should, she doesn't know how to feel. She's just like, I didn't know this person. I don't feel bad about them dying. You know, it's very, it, it sucks, but you know, she doesn't have an emotional connection to what is going on. So she's just letting it be what it is. Um, Cole, the, the pauldron with the etch mm. marks on them. Um, there's a front plate on the lever piece with these things that are probably detachable. It takes yeah. the insignia off. So she's going to take each etched plate off of the individual pauldrons. And she's also going to search in just under where the shirt and the uniform is. And she yanks um, several things. And then you can see wrapped in her hand four pendants. And they are all the same. Yeah, and I think, um, Wisp, you might recognize these if you, did you ever, did you ever meet, uh, the Dragonborn back in Hallowed, were you, was Wisp there to meet the Dragonborn with the missing armor, who yes. gave you the original quest to go fight yes. this guy? So yes. you see, he had a tattoo of a bloody, like, a, it was like a scarification tattoo of a bloodied blade. You see that, that same symbol, like that okay. same pendant. It is the uh, the symbol of Ilzaros, one of the lost gods. Okay. And um, they dangle there for a second. And she puts the pendants away in a pouch. And she utters something to herself and standing kind of amidst these bodies. And then holding these plates in her hand uh, she just walks up to the cavern entrance yep. and I think at this point Aiden crawls up and stands and kind of dusts his uh, robe kind of just waiting for everybody else Marcoris and Darlene arrive a few minutes later. Strolling. Knock. Uh, Knock looks at the body of um, Darla. And his mind is racing just the whole the concept of death. He understands that Goliaths in their culture is, you know, would not want to go ahead and succumb to just rotting away of old age, their want and drives to die upon the battlefield as the highest honor to which anybody can have. But Vader's death is different for him because he's the first person who ever was as connected to God, or a God, than anybody else. Death was almost redefined in a certain way in his eyes, where it was a burial. He saw graves where we were prior, before we entered this place. Saw Beres, saw all these sentinels and everything else too, a way of respecting death. So he looks put down to her. Kind of just, just shaking his head slowly. He's thinking about Vader. He's thinking about the fact that he doesn't deserve to die in battle as if he would. 
would be the highest honor for Nock. But his death should have been different. It should have been sacred. This right here, not knowing anything about this drawless woman, she herself died for our cause, so us to get to where we needed to get to. So the mind, his mind is just flayed by the concept of death right now. He's confused. He's conflicted. He turns and looks up, and how many bodies are above us? Countless. Well, never mind. I was going to call it. I'm going to tell McCorris to take that bird and cut them all down. Loot, loot, loot. Uh, no, um, Nock is going to walk over to the rest of the, um, to the rest of the group. And uh, he's going to climb his way up on top of the, uh, the, le- the, the ledge to where the knoll was, if you would. And is just looking around. Um, that giant flipping diamond to which that the big spider was trying to get, that's somewhere, right? It is. And as you look around for just but a few moments, you do see it. Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> Doc um, walks over to the diamond. Okay. It's covered is in it, a web, but... Does it have like a long string of web? Like attached to it, yeah. He he grabs the long long string of web and picks it up and like hooks it up to his face to kind of see. You said this is softball size. Are we talking like it's head like, size? Like I mean, I got a decent size head, so it's like a large, yeah. just slightly larger than a softball. It's so fucking expensive. Um, he takes it and looks at it, and then wraps the webbing and whatnot around his belt, and then looks towards the rest of the group. So where are we going? Look at Kamara. Further in. Nock shakes his head. And what about the spider with the sack? That's what of stones. That's the objective. Hopefully we find it on the way. Whatever's in there was valuable enough for that thing to hot tail it out of here. Does anybody object? No. Good. Marlene <laughs> says, oh, I can't get a break room. I said, shut up, Marlene. She'll be gone in an hour. Uh, Sorry. Aiden <laughs> looks around. I ain't no day like yesterday, yeah? Maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe you fuck yourself. Yeah. And he kind of... Iden will lead if no one else takes like he's just kind of determined and he walks into the tunnel first. And Doc takes is... behind. Mm. We'll follow. Okay. As all of you make your way into my... what might be the final tunnel of this long journey underground. Oh my god. We will see what is at the end as as you travel for but five minutes, you see an eerie light begin to appear and we will see what that is next week. Love it. Love that for us. I'm going to write about this session in my diary tonight. Two (laughs) paragraphs, like ten exclamation points. Dear diary. (laughs) You won't believe what happened to my fantasy character tonight. (laughs) <laughs> I, I killed can't. a giant spider. Oh I killed the biggest God. spider with my friends, and at the end of the day, friendship <laughs> saved us all. Dear diary, both my friends died. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna write about in my journal. That's an interesting. So that is an sad. interesting like thing to think about for uh, Nock specifically because he's kind of been weighing on it. Is like Vodder, a mat, like a bugbear of the cloth dies. Uh, and the next person who, like Calder, believed in something. And then yeah. Dala, who believed in Ket, also yeah. dies. So all these people all these with these beliefs, people. all these religious people are, are you know, dying and whatnot. It's but It's um, difficult. <laughs> it's not that. Um, <laughs> it's but yeah, difficult. thank you guys so much for hanging out with us tonight. We appreciate everybody who stuck around. We appreciate you so much. Um, let's just go around and uh, tell us what you guys are up to this week, where we can find you and stuff and things. Uh, Ray, we'll start with you. Oh, hey, I'm Ray, or with a brick everywhere on the interwebs. That's with two Ks. Um, I am, yeah, just catch me on my channel. I've been starting to stream again. I'll probably be streaming about 20 minutes after this ends. 
So go and go and hang out with uh, my channel with me. I do the I do the role play things on the video games. Uh, I play cowgirl. She's cool. Um, besides that, I'm here Thursdays every Thursday. I love it. I I'm so glad that we get a week break until next week because my heart needs a fucking break. That was a heavy session. But it's great, and I love it every week, and it keeps getting better and better, and I can't thank uh, Cole enough for emotionally terrorizing us every single uh, day. I live for it every fucking we come week. Here. Yeah, I live for it. I live for the mm. emotional terror every every Thursday from 8 to 11 EST. So. <laughs> it's right there on your calendar. Emotional right terror. Right there on your emotional yes. terror. That's how I labeled this obligation. Woo! Velocity uh, of emotional terror. The uh, velocity of emotional terrorism. Oh. Um, but no, thank you so very much. Like every week, and uh, we'll catch you catch you next time. Hell yeah! I was gonna say something like, um, what was I gonna say? Something important, but apparently not. Oh, <laughs> no character deaths. Like fifteen episodes for fifteen episodes. Yeah, we go into we go into this one dungeon, and there are th like three serious character deaths, mm -hmm. like one yeah. PC death, and two NPC deaths. Yeah. but but like beloved NPCs, yeah. right? Yeah, That's like, like, like how how uh, interesting is it? I can feel this. Well, we can feel this devastated over the the death of an NPC that we've known for like two episodes two and sessions. haven't said a single word. Mm -hmm. That was yeah. enough. No. Yeah, right. Right. Everything, everything you Cole need was in his, silence. Yeah, it's a testament to Cole and his character creation potential and his story ca his storytelling capabilities. So you know, or, or just you guys are. simping over a uh, hot yeah, NPC. Just, yeah, cut my bad too. NPC. But hey, you know yeah. what? I was trying to give you credit. Yeah, I, <laughs> we're simping over here. Okay, give us a, just, <laughs> let us have it. I'll take it. <laughs> Justin, what? What are you up to this week? Where can we find you? Lo just loving you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I see you in bed, buddy. Cuddle puddle. See you, better. I'm busy. Be better, 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 better. Um, uh, yeah. I'm Doc Rimbo. Doc Rimbo here on Twitch. I'm Doc Rimbo on Twitter. I'm never streaming on Twitch except here on Infinite RB, and I'm just fine with that for the moment being. Um, I will be here next week, but of course, I will be here on Monday as well, where I run Flames of Freedom with um, a bunch of really awesome people. It is 1776 Gothic Horror, so imagine the American Revolution plus zombies. Uh, I think, and this is just my estimation, we have maybe two more episodes in this uh in this season of that show uh, things are really going wild last time we left the group in the middle of uh a combat and one of our characters who's played by um our good friend kate madison at the end i don't want to give out spoilers but she ended the episode in bad shape mm -hmm. so if you want to catch up be sure to check out infinite rp's youtube and catch up on all the previous episodes it is a blast it's such a fun show that's yes. monday nights at 8 p.m eastern right here and then, of course, I'll be back here next week with uh, Mark Horace, who I think we got to see a fun side of today. And by fun, I mean jaded and unfeeling in that um, he doesn't give a shit about dead people. Um, and so um, that's very at odds with what Nock feels. But I was excited to sort of play that tension out. I do not feel that way. It's, it's so cool because if you people. know, if you guys know D&D &D lore and where uh, Mark Horace comes, Mark Horace comes from. from, which is Karnath and Eberron, it makes complete perfect sense. So it's really fucking awesome. So I'm, I'm loving to seeing that character come to life. So it's fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, Isla, where can we find you? Sup. What are you up to? My name's Panic Sova. Isla, Fen, whatever. Come what you want. I know who I am. Come no, what you um, so, I mean, uh, you can... I can think of some names. <laughs> Find me on the interwebs. Ha! Topical word. Uh, on the interwebs, uh, as Phoenix over pretty much everywhere. Twitter, Twitch. Wait, that's it. I don't really have socials. Um, regardless, I stream on my own channel a lot now compared to how much I used to. Uh, with the people's uh role play uh community, uh PRC, where I present currently tres, three uh characters. Uh, one of which I'm not playing as much as anyway. However, uh, for all those that do know who I stream, I don't stream three characters. Well, then you don't stream three characters. That's because I've got a third one coming. Um, oh, teaser, spoiler alert. Yeah, yeah. All I can say is, um, all I can say is the uh, the Bratva are coming. So, oh shit. Yeah. Um, regardless, uh, tune in for that. I don't have a schedule, but you can pretty much almost find me streaming. 
almost every day, or at least around the clock, um, on, on PRC, so, uh, come check it out. Um, other than that, yes, I will be here every Thursday, uh, for Vedranis, where I play the, uh, the stiff upper lipped, uh, wood elf gunslinger, who might actually have a fun side, as we witnessed today, but yeah. you're gonna have to watch further to find out what the fuck that was about. Yeah. Cause I'm so she don't excited. do that. She don't do that. Um she did a fucking cartwheel and then reloaded the gun. <laughs> That's like Harley yeah. Quinn shit right there. Yeah, yeah. If you wanna Wonderful. know why, the, you gotta you gotta stick around. Backstory, bro. Um but I think uh Nora is actually yeah. Harley Quinn. But... Where we uh <laughs> could you imagine? Kamora Quinn. Mr. J. Mr. G. Mr. Knock. <laughs> Hi, Mr. G. Wow, way to ruin the, the spoiler. <laughs> See, I wouldn't call you pudding, it would be dessert. You'd just be called dessert. Oh, uh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking pound about. Cake. Mo motherfucker, yeah, I'm about to say pound cake. <laughs> pound cake. I'm, a, I'm a whole course <laughs> meal, man. <laughs> anyway, uh, oh, yes, so there is that. But yeah, that is, that, that, that's what I'm up to, basically. Uh, there might be something that I'm doing a little bit different next Friday for a one shot somewhere. Uh, I might be doing Ooh. something, but I'm not going to, uh, I'm not going to give that away until it's solidified. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you more, I'll let you know more on that later. So we will anxiously await that. And last but certainly not least, our dear friend Derek, where can we find you? What are you up to, my friend? Oh, you can find me at a top Derek Mountain, a top Derek Mountain, where you can find my ass doing a lot of things, a lot of, honestly, I've been doing so much music. I've been working on cosplay, but I haven't been streaming it. Trust me, I got some updates. Um, I also have, um, I've been playing a crap ton of RP. Um, I stream just about maybe about five days out of the week. And I do my best to sit through a schedule, but you know, you gotta, you know, life balance and all that jazz. So um, you can find me there on top of the mountain playing a bunch of stuff, and hopefully it's things that you can go ahead and love and enjoy. And I would love to see you all there as much as I would love to see you all here. Hell yeah. And I am Cole or Lacuna RP. You can find me at Lacuna RP on Twitter and Twitch. I don't usually stream, I stream sometimes, very rarely. Um, but you can find me here every Thursday with these wonderful, lovely people playing this not lovely it is lovely but not in the right way we're thinking campaign thank you guys so much for hanging out with us we love you so much make sure to follow subscribe if you really want to subscribe on youtube because the vod will be going up here in a few days and you can catch up on flames freedom which you should and all that shit but we will see you guys next week. Uh, make sure to stay tuned after the credits because we are going to be raiding Perception Studio, who is streaming. Make sure to give them some love as well. Puppets! And puppets! It's puppets. It's yeah. so fucking great. Go give them some love, and we will see you guys next time. Bye! Bye!